Hello everyone, welcome to the Red Men TV. Watch a long time ahead of Liverpool versus Crystal Palace kickoff in just over 10 minutes' time. I'm Steve Hall, delighted to be joined by the main man, Ella Smith. As always, we'll guide you right the way through this game, which hopefully Liverpool can get themselves back to the top of the Premier League, if only for a couple of hours, but hopefully more, if Aston Villa want to play nice a little bit later on as well. Uh, Ella, we spoke before, team news-wise, we'll go through it very, very quickly. Liverpool's team, Alisson, Robertson, Van Dijk, Canate, Bradley, got Endo, Jones, McCallum, Lester Salah, Diaz, Nunes, that's a very strong bench as well. Callahan, Jota, Elliot, I was thinking there, it's Alexander Arnold, Gomez, Gapo, Gravenberg, Sobersly, and Jarrell Quanza. It's a very strong Liverpool team, it's a very strong Liverpool bench. Just hopefully, Ellen, this is the tonic to, to get over Thursday. This is the hair of the dog. Liverpool need to get back on it straight away and get, 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 they have to win. Yeah. Like, at this at this stage of the season, the seven league games left, they're probably going to have to win all. Well, probably all almost seven. definitely going to have to win all seven. Yeah. Probably going to start today. Absolutely. I mean, you know, Thursday was sobering. <laughs> Let's be honest. They, yeah, they yeah, played yeah. as if they did have a hangover. Um, so hopefully the lads are fresh and, and and up for the challenge today because the margins for error all season. It's felt like. When there's been no pressure and it was a case of, right, let's assimilate this squad, let's just kind of see what we're capable of, let's see how many points we can get in and amongst it, can we just keep the pace with what we know will be a relentless city and a, and a, a, a new life arsenal, we did fairly well, you know, we we was worth you know well worth the value for money in terms of putting ourselves in contention and it's really now as the the pressure has been applied we've sort of started to see a side to this liverpool team and the squad as a whole really that i'm not familiarly used to like if there's been pressure before and if there's been stuff at stake we've normally like risen to the pressure typically well and you know there's, so, there's only so much you can do against city at the end of the day if they're going to beat you by you know either goal difference or by a point or whatever it might be it, it happens over the course of a season but make sure that you you push them every right right towards the end and this almost feels like if we don't win here today Liverpool could kind of tail off and the other two could really kind of still march and it could almost become a two horse title race and I don't want that for, any, for for a number of reasons but I feel like today it really could be an opportunity Dan mentioned it in the previous show about Thursday night being a bit of a watershed moment. I hope it is, and I hope it's a bit of a wake-up call for these lads to say, you know what, there isn't much room now for that at all. We've got to not be, we've got, no, can't be perfect or flawless, but we've got to put a good account for ourselves and not be so wasteful in attack. It's weird, isn't it? Because you, it, it's weird how fickle confidence can be at all because... Liverpool at home are relentless. Like the, the the home record is outrageous. They lose one home game and I'm, listen, they play badly. Don't get me wrong, and they deserve to lose the other day. And all of a sudden, there's a lot more nerves around. I think it's yeah. been added to the fact that you know the, the games against Man United, both in the league and the cup, and, and, and obviously a couple of other things here and there as well. But um, the, the, man, man, you can man, you've got a knack for dragging us down to their level. Yeah. I, I don't know what it is. It's a derby. It's a, it's a leveler. All that kind of stuff comes comes to the front. But they do find a way to drag us down to their level, and it doesn't allow us to play our best football. But Thursday night wasn't that, mate. No, no. Thursday night was Liverpool not turning up. Thursday night was Liverpool not understanding the assignments and how to navigate ourselves in a in, you know in a, in a a first leg tie in a, in a European game and I think that's what has, has dented the confidence of, of, of some fans because we're not used to seeing us like that when it, when it matters in Europe when it, when it means something apart from the likes of Real when they rock up to Anfield we expect to put in a good showing for ourselves and we, we, we absolutely let ourselves down the other night absolutely fingers crossed the Reds can get back on track um, it, it's looking at Palace like I say a new manager come in the, the, it hasn't really, there hasn't really been a new manager bounce for Crystal Palace. They've they've been kind of what Crystal Palace have been all season, really, but underwhelming. They've had one win since since he came in, but they've always. I think we even saw it against City last week. While in the end, City ran out relatively comfortable winners. It, it, they they still give them a little bit of a bloody nose. Like they are a team. If you give them an inch, they'll take it. You know what I mean? Like yeah. if you play your best against Palace, more often than not, the, the top teams will beat them. Mm -hmm. But like you just said, if you're not at your best, they're they're a team who can punish you. Mm. Is that? I don't know, like, we've said, I keep saying, like, you know, Liverpool needs to start fast and they never do and they still win. As you wonder, today it feels, I keep saying it, but it feels really important that you get Crystal Palace out of this. Uh, if, we, if you can. We fought that like, on Thursday night as well and, it, you know, we made ourselves look stupid to an extent, really. And I think the thing from my perspective is just take the fucking handbrake off after the minute one. As soon as the whistle goes, take the handbrake off and just go with the intent that you're going to actually go and try and cause the team problems and you're alive to their threats and their dangers because I said it in the, in the last show. 
teams come to us knowing that they have to play their best football in their final third. If they're going to have any chance of scoring, if they're going to have any chance of doing anything against Liverpool, it's imperative that in the final third they're not wasteful. Yeah. And it's one thing that teams, you know, they're not going to create an abundance of chances. They may only have two to three clear-cut chances in a game against us, but they'll bury one. Liverpool need to find the knack for being able to do that as well, yeah. whereby... We don't have to create overly create chances, half chances. We just have to make sure that the chances that we do create, we don't spin and we don't let them go to waste. John here says, I'm listening in pathos. I'm going for 7-0. I mean, I'll take one, but John's very optimistic. The thing is, like, Liverpool have got goal scorers in the team, Errol. They just have to score. Have, they, it, it, they, they, it's like the Jew. It's, it's like yeah. he must be due to be, be scoring yeah. because it's how, you know... It couldn't have all went dry. They've all scored over double, double digit goals this all season for us, all five of them. So the numbers wise, it's been there, right? You want to try and split them accordingly throughout the course of the season, but football doesn't work like that. They've just got to be absolutely up for it. And as far as I'm concerned, it, it is very rare for three of our forwards to all be out of form at the same time. So one of them has got to really want to step up now and say, Do you know what? What can I do for the other team? What, what, what for the for the team? I should say, how can I be? You know offer the most to this side if it's Salah just scoring you know goal put output and you don't do much else in the game make sure that you're scoring your goal then if that's how it's meant to be score your goal yeah. like I, I can live with that between now and the end of the season if you're not going to put in 10 out of 10 performances but you're going to rob a nick a goal here and there in every, in every other game I'll be fine with that same with Nunes the decision making's just got to be better you're not someone we don't create a wealth of the chances for him he does kind of be on the fringes of games and he'll come up with big moments in those moments that you need to know and understand now that they are your fucking moments take them same with Diaz if you're playing the best all round game and all round performance that we've seen for a, a number of weeks continue to do that but chip in get somebody on the score sheet get, get an assist in somewhere or get yourself a goal do whatever you need to do but we need to now start a Goals breed confidence. We need the goals in order to feel like we can beat anybody that is put in front of us on a pitch. Absolutely, fingers crossed. You can start that today, right? Then both teams are just about to make their way out on to the Anfield pitch. Glovely to see that Alison Becker Do back. You mean that? Between... Glovely. Glovely, yeah. I didn't mean that, but it was. I should have just played that off, shouldn't I? <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. It's lovely to see Alison back. It's lovely, no, it was yeah. nice. I was like, did you mean that? No, no, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't even know I'd said it. Um, he, looks, he looks like he's lost a bit of weight. He looks quite slim. Yeah. Um, what a very handsome man. Anyway, both teams are about to make their way onto the pitch. So what I need from you guys now watching along... I always say it, there's three things that we need from you at this time. Number one, press that like button. Get the like button pressed right now. If you want to do us an extra favour, tell a friend, any Liverpool fans in your life who probably don't get involved in the watch longs give them a, send them the link send them the link say come and join the lads I'm sure they're going to enjoy it just like you guys do I want a score prediction I want you to tell me where about in the world you're watching as well and you can let me know what time it is for all you who are doing this round the clock I know there's some people getting up early some people staying up late wherever you're at yeah we'll be back with the full watch along and I'll be reading out all your comments predictions where you're from all that kind of stuff after this quick break so yes see you in all in a second Hello everyone, we've got an amazing competition prize for you this month. It is this incredible Liverpool away shirt from 0405, signed by none other than goal scoring hero that season, Mr. Neil Mellor. Yes, if you want to be in the draw to win this, then head to redmenplus.com, sign up as a legend tier subscriber or upgrade from a captain tier and get your name in the hat at the end of the month for this wonderful signed Liverpool shirt. See you there. There you go. You guys are involved, Redmen. Plus, we always give signed merchandise away each and every month to one of our Redmen Plus Legend subscribers. Uh, so yeah, get yourselves involved over there. If you want extra content in your lives, such as the Instant Match Reaction and the Player Rating Show that Dan and Errol are recording straight after, hopefully Liverpool get the job done today. Uh, I say hopefully rather than expecting, because yeah, even my confidence took a little knock in the week. But hopefully that was ill-judged and I'll be absolutely fine and the Reds will get the job done. Just like Matt thinks they'll do, who says, Morning, Steve and Errol. It's 3am in Hawaii. 2-0 up the Reds. What do you think it's like at 3am in Hawaii? It's still warm. Yeah, humid. Let us know, Matt. I want to know. A little bit humid. Sounds, sounds glorious, anyway. Um, who else have we got in here? Red Moon's down on Larky. So, <laughs> going for a 3-1 to Liverpool. Don't hate that one as nice. well. Quint 
Scott in Seven AM in Mexico. Is that Elisa Hernandez? Nice. Big up you. We've got John who's in Brazil. Are you really in Brazil? I'm gonna believe you. John's gonna go for a three 0 to Liverpool. It's because his name's well. John and it. John in Brazil. Are you? <laughs> it doesn't really compute. Um, Quite so, Juan. Why over there? Rightly so as well. They're uh, holding up the flag. There's Mario. That's Mario holding that flag up there. Obviously, all the flags today are Hillsborough related. Of course, tomorrow is the uh, the anniversary of that horrendous, uh, ill-fated day. So the cop rightly showing their remembrance and their support. Uh, a very poignant. You know, it's always a it's always a very sad day, isn't it? Uh, this time, unfortunately, but one where I'm sure everyone's going to do themselves proud. Um, there's uh, some amazing, amazing flags, amazing banners. The scarves are out as well, including that one there. Very, you'll never walk alone. Sometimes it's different, it's, doesn't it? It does, and it, 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 it's got a million it, different meanings, hasn't it? And, like, it, 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 and today, it's, it's extra poignant, of course. Yeah. I okay. feel like a a tiny reminder for some of those lads of what they play for as well when they put that shirt on. Um, sometimes you can just kind of get caught up in the tunnel vision of it all but there is a much bigger bigger picture and in, in what Liverpool Football Club stands for in and around the world we see it every week whenever we do a watch along from wherever you guys tune in from around the world and the lads can see in full effect that this these games this time of year it means more absolutely you can have all hellones in the chat as well look at him little young lad there was that's class down there Sick that kid. My lad's wearing that there at home actually. Is he? Yeah, yeah. yeah. My lad's left that, that purple kid. Good on him. Peter Howell says up early in LA. Let's go, right. Reds. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, some, some, these, these might kick off times. Yeah, as the, as the Liverpool players all come together, as do the Crystal Palace players, as you'll never walk alone. Poignantly rolls out around Anfield at this uh, this time of year. Up, and then, of course, the mosaic will follow, of course. It's mad how quickly time flies. Like 1989, it's not... It's, it's, it's not well. Yeah, it's, it it's long, but it's, yeah, it's, it's, life, it's a lifetime for me. It's week. a life, well, for me it is. It was before I was here. So obviously all these families as, as they both sides was over a moment of silence with the with the flags and the mosaic up. Very poignant. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. We are moments away from kick off. <sighs> Very uh, emotional time of year, of course. It's mad when you see like that list there, I mean, like because it's it's just a number. Sometimes you see like like nine, seven actual names, and it's yeah, like yeah, yeah. It, uh, it's, it's different. It, it's hard, and it? it's really it's really tough. Courtney Those players back in the huddle. Courtney Smith there, 9am in Grand Rapids, Michigan, after visiting Liverpool for the Sheffield game. Thanks to user Redmen, we all understood the Liverpoolians just fine. <laughs> you know what? A lot of people have said that to me, they learned scouts by listening to us. Yeah. More, so, I know more you than me. Do you, me, do you reckon? Yeah. I'm a, Chloe. Yeah, Chloe, yeah, Chloe's very scouts. Do you know what, I think it's funny when people like watch, like, English speaking shows around the world to like kind of learn English like loads of people say friends like all yeah. over the world people are like oh yeah I learn English from watching friends yeah. but people learn it when scouts from, from watching, watching us, us. Yeah, yeah. I, I, if I had to do scouts accent rankings on Redmen as the game kicks off here go Crystal Palace straight on the attack towards the cop I would say Chloe is top of the scouts rankings yeah followed by probably Payjack yeah then I'd say you 
and then me. Possibly, yeah. Then Paul. And then Paul, yeah. Then Dan. And then Dan. Yeah. Do you agree with that? Yeah, I think that's pretty fairly accurate. Obviously, there's other, obviously some of the contributors as well. We'll come back to those in a moment. Uh, here come Palace on the attack. Early doors down Liverpool's left cross comes into the box. Allison straight away called into action. Back to Punches business. Clear. Yeah, threat hasn't gone yet though. It was Mitchell who got in down that left hand side. Palace have uh, started quick. Started quite well. Mo Salah coming back to do his defensive duties. People can't get out. Yeah, struggling to get out a little bit here. Fallis finding little pockets of half space to operate in. Shot Ooh, goal. Tame, tame shot there from Eze. Very Less than a minute tame. in, and yeah. Crystal Palace already showing they're not here to mess around. And again, we got to under, got to respect it, got to expect teams at this stage of the season now. If their place in the Premier League is is sorted for next season, why not give it a go? I'm not even sure it is. I know Dan said that before. They're not like I know they got they got two games in hand, but once today. As Liverpool try and play out, they are pressing high. Aye, Crystal aye. Palace, as Eze comes on to Canate. Pardon. Um, but Liverpool actually have got out of this. Salah's wrestled to the floor. Far. Oh, thank you. Mitchell is nappy. Was it Mitchell, I think, or Lerma? I couldn't quite see. Liverpool are going to take it quick, but I don't think it was on the right place, so they're going to be called back. It was a good idea from Salah to take the quick free kick, but it was about five yards further the play, forward yeah. than where the foul took place. <coughs> Connor Bradley is hugging the touchline there. Tries to play a ball in towards Darwin Nunes. It doesn't come off. And it's going to be Crystal Palace who launched the ball. Set it against Canate. They're two big physical fellas, those aren't they? Canate wins that battle. But Palace have got the ball as a his clearance didn't really get too far. Nice from Ibu though. Chester down. Get that supposed as Liverpool continue to play. Endo asking for the ball there. I like the Bradley. Robertson selection there, it's going to get Liverpool on the foot, it should get Liverpool on the front foot. It's kind of like... It's always school. telling you, isn't yeah, it, what, you, what yeah. the plan is, you, you, we're attacking with you two, because they are your two, they are your two more typical full-backs. Full yeah. Here is Robertson on the, on the left-hand side, now it's just, just, just let him down a little bit. Going to throw in now, he wants to take it quickly, and does, man on, man on, to Curtis Jones, that was a bit mm. of a... You please get the ball on the floor, it's bouncing around a little bit. There's Alexis McAllister, very central, he's got Bradley, out to his right, he's got Salah if he wants to use him. He does. Obviously. Back, Back to Bradley. him. Going to cross it. He does, it's blocked though. Liverpool retain possession. McAllister just overhits that one's going to be throwing to Crystal Palace. Yeah, Conor Bradley. <laughs> Conor Bradley telling Alexis McAllister to come. Like, take, take your time. Just take it. your time. <laughs> okay, well, I know you're a World Cup winner, son, but... A throw in to the visitors deep in their own half. They're going to, I'm sure they're going to just wing this down the line as far as they can towards Mateta. He flicks on the push. And the wind is head there. I think he could have brought that down. You know, I don't think he needs to head that back. It's a bit of head tennis at the moment, and Palace are going to clear. Van Dyke just gets there ahead of Elise. Yeah, should be. Oh, well, he's kept that in. Kept that in. Done really well. Done really well. He's robbed. Off, and it's, and it's a Liverpool throw in. But, yeah. Uh, which kind of Liverpool are keen to get the time. Liverpool want the ball on the pitch, don't they? They're taking the time over these throw ins. It's hard to really say what Crystal Palace are right now, as well, given the fact that they've got a new manager, what kind of team they're they are. Definitely three at the back, look yeah. like, And it's five when they haven't got the ball. Look at that. It's five, Flat. two, three almost. Wharton and Hughes in midfield just dog about, basically just rat around and run everywhere. But look at that. Mateta, Eze, and Elise have been told to press us high. You can see that. Here they come. Unlike other teams who have come to Anfield in the past, Palace are going to try and press high. So Liverpool are going to go long over the top of it. Almost comes off. Yeah, it's a former red in the final climb. Deals with that one. Brave them? of Palace. Because yeah. if Liverpool can get through the press, then they'll be in. But so far, they haven't really got in behind too often. Remember when we thought he was the pinnacle of right backs? I liked him, mate. The final was good. Man. That's what I mean. I remember we thought he was the pinnacle. He was that of that era. He was that, That's what that era right required. Right back was about, yeah. yeah. He'd defend well and get yourself forward and get crosses in. It's the system. What a pass by Van Dijk. Straight to Salah's feet. Gorgeous nice. for Liverpool. A good Ooh. tackle, though. I think it was Lerma who come across and put Mo Salah on his arse and have sprung Crystal Palace in a counter And that's which, well done by Ender. Wins the ball. Yeah. Clean. That's his job, innit? Clean, just breaks up that counter attack. If no Eze skips past in there, Liverpool are in trouble. trouble. Yeah, it was really good from Endo. 
Yeah, John says I like Klein as well. Where are we up to on the stream? Like I've been asked, mm. I will tell you now. <coughs> we are on 550, so get that like button pressed if you don't mind. Ladies and gentlemen, in as you do it, I'll give us a little song. Endo just couldn't get his foot on that one, but Randy Robbo did. It's so good to see Alison back in goal, man. <laughs> just a little bit of air of confidence. Robertson finds Nunez, finds Jones. They're probably popping it around a little bit more, I was going to say a bit more tempo, but then it kind of slows down. slow down. I think that's it. Someone said before in the comments, you know, we other teams are very direct when they come out. Those Liverpool's build up at the minute is just a little bit laboured. See, standing on the ball there, like, where's the forward movement? Running off your man, trying to create that space. That's what Liverpool need to be considering. Uh, Diaz drifting inside, trying to do just that, but his pass isn't great. And uh, Palace should be able to get out with Eze in the alley. He's on the wrong counter. side, don't foul him. It's Mateta down, Palace is left, Liverpool's right, up against and Conor Bradley. Bradley. That's a mismatch physically. Conor Bradley's done, done so well. Right, just he's done up, all right, he has. He battled really hard there, didn't he? That was a physical mismatch. Oh! Oh, loose ball by Palace. Can Liverpool break on it? Yeah, they can. And Van Dijk is able to find Bradley Man on. Oh. Mm, wasn't the best ball nearly, from there. No, it wasn't. Van Dijk just Van Dijk's the pass ball wasn't brilliant. It put Conor Bradley in a bit of bother. And Palace can attack again, although McAllister is over there to sort that out. And you know, we, we know how tough it is. Man on Ebu. There we go, good ball. Oh, Liverpool, yeah, Palace are pressing. Liverpool into mistakes. They've won it back again. Cross comes in, but it's straight along the floor to Allison. Who launched it to Andy Robbo? Can he launch a counter? Go on, Robbo. He's done really well to find Diaz. He's got Robbo inside. Use him. Yeah. yeah. Andy Robbo playing centre forward. Finds that with Nunes in the box. Shot first time. It's a bit rubbish. Just didn't get enough on mm. it. It was the right idea, I think. I think maybe he could have took a touch Direct. On. It was direct. Alice it was great from on Robertson. The ball. Great from Robbo. Cuts inside. Plays outside, continues his run, gives Diaz an option again. Direct football there from Liverpool, an opportunity to really hurt the team. I think Nunes wants to set that out wide and try and bend it into that top in, and he just doesn't really get the execution right. Straight down the end to throw, but it was a, it was good from Robertson. <coughs> James says, "I'm watching the game on TV. But we've got the legends of Steenel watching on comms. That's the best way. That is exactly." The best way to do the watch along. Sync us up with the clock. Put the TV on. Sync her up with the clock. We'll commentate for you. We've got your cover. You can watch the match, of course, on your, on your, and we can be on your second screen. I still think, I don't, I don't know if Darwin needed to hit that first time. There's going to be some goals to score from there. It would have been. But I, I, I think he was running out of space, though, on the angle. I think, and he doesn't trust his left foot. No. That, that's his problem. If he trusts his left foot more, he takes that he, a couple and of touches and fired it yeah, across yeah. fired across but elsewhere Dan Hall with the shout let's have a song lads I've done a couple to be fair I'll give it over to the DJ upon the buttons uh, player or player or yeah want? Well, I want choose. something from Mo you know I need I feel like Mo needs to yeah. be G'd up as much as possible but I'm in come on Little chest there from Verge. Nice from Kansas. Oh, well done. Trying to win the ball back. Yeah. I, I've been, well. uh, well our well pressing's been decent, but Palace has been up to the physical challenge. As Curtis Jones just nips ahead, though. That's really good by Curtis. Mm. Jürgen Klopp approves of that one, wins the ball, gives it back to Alison Becker. That's the only way to watch my fave Stan Edel. Sink your TV. That's the best way, absolutely. Rob S has got you covered. As Robbo's on the ball, seen a lot of the ball in the early moments as Andy Robertson. Yeah. Which I don't think is a bad thing. I think as you mentioned there, that, that's the game plan, isn't it? Let's try and pin their lads back as opposed to the other way around. And so far, Liverpool have done well. Played Curtis Jones through the lines, goes back to Robbo, goes back to Jones, back over to Endo. Endo looking for the switch, doesn't play it. Now he tries to do the little diagonal infield. Oh, they're getting each other's way. Play the ball, play the ball. Ah, he should have played it. He does, he does find Bradley in the end. Carlos, that did. Oh, good ball. Oh, he's offside. He knew he was offside. He knew. Maca he knew it. Nunes Maca left it. Was he, was he offside? I mean, he usually is. He usually, yeah, that's what I mean. <laughs> McCallister's not going to say, yeah, no, I get it, bro. I get it. 
Keegan, I'm watching on the TV, you got you boys on the iPad. That's how it's done, ladies and gents. For the right way round. None against Cali getting them lot on Skylight, but pff, we're box office. Finley, I don't care what Arsenal do today, to be honest with you. I just know we've got to do our job. Yeah, that means I it means we've got until, until the Reds do win. Our job, yeah. Once we win, then I'll start to give some fucks. Oh, well played by Darwin Nunes there. His pass, though, just... Uh, oh, but he doesn't give up, does he? He's won it back. He's won it back. He sold it with Diaz down the river, didn't he? He really he? did. <laughs> but he won it back. Such a shit ball. He had time to play it better as well there, yeah, but Diaz yeah. does well with the ball, comes away with it, plays it into McAllister, he plays it back. It's like people are getting a foothold in the game, Errol. Like, it feels like... Control. It, ah, and it's then. just jinxed that one because Andy Robbo plays a stinker. He's won oh, it back. Ah. You are always two seconds ahead of the TV, says Padraig. Well, Padraig, there's the clock. Look, right there. Press pause on us until it sinks. Or vice versa, press pause on your TV until that sinks. And then it marries together. In perfect harmony. That's what the clock's for, pal. That's what the clock's for. Do we have to come to yours to do it for you? Send one of us around at half time. Oh. It's the reason the clock exists. Just because the Palace went for kicking their own half. Patrick says, I know, I just like you guys being ahead. I want to spoil this for you. <laughs> I don't think I'd like that. I know, I would. Does my head whenever I have to watch one of the games on the apps. Because my group chat will forever fire in about half a minute before yeah. I see what's going on. Absolutely. Oh, well played. Is that Bradley? <sighs> ah. Poor ball by Jones gives it away. Yeah. I think I've said men on about five times so far. Palace go long over Andy Robbo's head, but it's quite comfortable to go back to his goalie. That was one thing that you did pick up on. Ooh, Ooh Alisson. Strange Ooh. choice by Alisson to give it back to Robbo. I Robbo's. didn't want to say shit no more. I was going to say, literally, what we were talking about from Keller the other day, so his kicking wasn't the best, maybe with Alisson in goal. I think that needed to go to Canati, surely. I mean, I, I, I might be wrong, maybe with Mark, but it just looked like it was obvious. He tried to go back to Alisson, kick the straight. Sorry, to, to Robertson, kick the straight. Out of play. And here come Palace down their left again. Bradley comes over, but ball goes round him. McAllister sends Elise nice. backwards. What a season it's been, though, ladies and gents. It's been a fantastic. In terms of title races, it's, it's right up there. It's had everything. Very it? dramatic. Some of the games that haven't even had much riding on them have been unbelievable as yeah. well. Here come Palace down the left again into the box. Cross comes in. Goal. You could see it coming a mile off. It's Eze. He was unmarked. And yet again, Liverpool concede the first goal in a game. And that was too easy. Absolutely too easy. Jürgen Klopp is just right smile on his face before he, real he has to G the boys up again. But as he scores in front of the cop, and that just felt a little bit too simple, Errol. How many times are we going to say it? Quick, final third. They need to be clinical. Can't be wasteful with the ball. Get it Where's, in. Who's and marking there's a cop, there's on his nobody. He's got fucking. He's got the freedom of Anfield there. Absolute. And Alan, that's why I said the Navy two one. I just didn't. Enzo believe. comes across to the ball. Gets dragged just... to the ball. It's just too fucking easy. That too easy. There's no one. He's got, Everybody's he's got ball day. watching. Everyone's ball watching. Nobody's picking up the men. And, and again, it's another trademark shitty star from Liverpool Football Club. That was too easy. I mean, he, he had he had all day to score that. I think Van Dijk probably was the one who. Do you think Van Dijk should have been the one closest to him? From a defender's it, point of view, it, it yeah. It felt like he's... we had two men marking the guy at the back post, and nobody just marking the fella who was in the middle of the goal. <sighs> I mean, we've been here before. Um, that was too easy, wasn't it? Very much so, very much so. And just when you wanted to sh shake off the... the hangover from Thursday, it just, it just continued. Here goes Mateta. Again, down the left. Palace are getting some joys down there. Do Canate takes it off him, nope. And wins it, does well. Ah, oh, he must be offside. Yeah, yeah, he is. 
So that goes up. Thanks very much for the super chat, by the way. We missed it because they scored. It was from Liam. It says, always a pleasure listening to the Redmen. Thanks very much, Liam. Hopefully we can bring you much more joy than the first there. Uh, another Liverpool... Uh, conceding the first goal happens too often. It's not thing, but we can't afford to draw. I said to you the other day, no, no, I, no. I expected us in that running of eight, I expected a draw to happen. What's that? Give it away again. But the man, new game came too early for the draw, so now we can't draw. We, every game is a must win. Every game is a final. Eze What's again, he doing? It, he's fun. ran into the man there, like, but fuck me. Eze tried to Just run through the whole, of the through the whole <laughs> Liverpool midfield and defence. And, yeah. Uh, Back. The ball is back with Dean Henderson in the Palace goal, and yet again we're gonna to have to do it from um, from like, from a, a losing position. People have done that. I, mean, I think that's twenty-one times this season now we've conceded the first goal. Yeah. Poor from the pull. Someone has to. Someone has to sense danger. As he's limping. Yeah, he's he's sure he's gonna be fine. Looks a little bit slow, Errol. Said that we'd laboured. The build up's just too slow at the minute. We need to move up the tempo if they can. Palace doing a good job. It, yeah. I think the Palace doing similar to what Atalanta did. Getting, they're coming out on the front foot. I thought Liverpool. How long Diaz turns? Can he win it? He does. Go on, well. Diaz crosses. Looking for Salah. He's not going to get there. Although not really cleared by Palace. Bradley wins his head, but Palace do well. And not only did he get out, he found Eze again. Into Mateta, but it's... Oh, Van Dijk slips! Oh, no! Mateta's one-on-one -on -one with Alisson! Dinks it over him! Robertson off the line! Oh, Andy Robertson has saved Liverpool! How big a moment could that be? Not only in the game, but in the season... Liverpool's captain slipping. I mean, we've been there before. Friggin' hell. This time, thankfully, Andy Robbo was alive to it. Because that could have been... Oh, that could have been a huge, huge, huge problem. Mateta, is, he's, he's just... It's, it's all day for Van Dijk and he just falls. And, Mat and Mateta's in. Alisson comes out, he dinks it over him, but thankfully Andy Robertson gets back. I mean, it's wow. just off the line. Wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, blood. Are you it's missing? All, it's on the, the line. line. It's absolutely fantastic from Andy Robertson. I mean... <laughs> oh, mate. There's your let off, Liverpool. Can you make the most of it? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, never a dull moment as a Liverpool fan, ladies and gentlemen. Never a dull moment. That, Let's that, go. Came, that came from. Uh, I mean, that just slips. Not, he just slips. One of them things. Can't be helped, but fuck me. I mean, you can't help but have reminiscence, can you? No, of, I know. Of, flashbacks. Liverpool's and captain slipping in front of the cop. And it all just going wrong from well, there. Well, this time, there was an Andy Robertson. Liverpool look poor again. There's not been a good start, really, for Liverpool. No, 18 minutes played. I haven't tested the goalkeeper at all so far. Can't they've won it back now? Foul given against Curtis Jones. Behave. We're looking at the goal line well, decision. It's the, I mean, it's on, oh, it's on the line. Wow. Half the ball's in the goal. Half and half, innit? No goal. No goal. Absolutely fantastic. Not, not really like I want to so celebrate well. them, but yeah, he, he's because he doesn't get too drawn into the attack, and he lets Allison half deal with that. And if it goes beyond them, he'll be there to sweep up anything. And fucking didn't that, didn't we need him? My man is kind of the goose. Let's hope for all the right reasons. We're thinking about that at the end of the season. We can remember when Andy Robbo cleared it off the line. That. City have had one millimeters against us. Against us, do you get me? We'd Johnny's. have been um, we'd have been invincible. It's like the world's playing the hits. There's your captain falling over. There's one off the line. Yeah. To be fair to Virgil, he was in complete control of the situation. He got himself in the exact right place. Just fell. Yeah. I thought Allison reacted well because if you see where he, he backpedaled into the goal, made himself stay as big as he could as long as he could. 
going back to all those years ago and Sam Mignolet just sat himself sat on his ass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alisson just, just stayed, Alisson did the opposite this time, stayed as big as he could and just hoped. And his teammate bailed him out. Palace press again. Canate's first touch wasn't the best. Allison's wasn't brilliant either. Oh, I'm getting nervous. I'm getting nervous. Liverpool have done well. They got out. Well, look, Curtis Jones is probably the best either. And then they'll have to stretch. Yeah, Liverpool will look a little bit. It's like we need ultimate control before we want them to be comfortable going to attack. Sometimes you've just got to fucking Liverpool. play on the edge a little bit, Liverpool. Here's Curtis Jones. Picks it up. Ball inside to Salah. Just played into trouble, Bounces really. Bounces off him. Hmm. And that's gone out. Yeah. I think Lam has gone down for them. I don't know what's, up, what's happened to him. Yeah. He's holding his like his stomach or his ribs. He take a ball on the rib. I can see. I think Darwin Nunes. Oh, he, oh, he, oh he, he did. He had, he had a bit of a, a rough landing, didn't he? Took the air out of him. Nunes Darwin doesn't, doesn't do nothing. Just there, maybe. Yeah, just just takes the stomach, yeah, just takes the air out of him. He's fine. The ghost leader is this the bounce back performance? It, it, hasn't been so be. far. it has to be the bounce back performance, but as he said there so far, not the case. Oh, there you go. There we go. Diaz does well. Oh, Finds Salah. Diaz through. It's Nunes into the box. Doesn't get there first. Good defending by Palace. Very good defending. I think it was Lehman who come across. The pool still with Curtis Jones though. Into go the ahead. Get into the box. Curtis down the. Oh, it's just going to be a penalty. It's a corner. It's a corner. corner to Liverpool. That'll do yeah. Did well there. Lema did well twice, didn't he? But Liverpool do have a corner. The first of the game. Van Dijk goes up. Canate goes up as well. It's going to be Andy Robbo with the outswinger. Come on, Robbo. Come on, Robbo. Corner comes Liverpool in. Liverpool need a spark. Oh, but oh, what was that? Palace are going to try and clear. Off the midriff of the Ibu Canate there. Just, I think the ball just hits him. He doesn't know much about it. Liverpool have won it back with Robertson. Can he find a pass? He does into Nunes. Tries to give it back to Robbo. Can Robbo get there at the byline? Cross comes in. Another I think corner. that's a goal kick. I think it can. Andy Robbo said it didn't. The ref says it can, can, can back off him. Off in the final climb. They have given the goal kick. Let's see. No, it's hard to tell, isn't it? It's hard to tell, but I think it would have been a corner. I think 22 minutes in, and Andy Robertson's been Liverpool's man of the match so far. He's had the biggest involvement, Probably the only one, really, yeah. <laughs> at this moment in time. Playing a little bit unrecognisable at the minute as Liverpool. They've got two men in the Come on, Reds! Jesus Christ almighty. Enzo and Canate went for the same ball there. Frankly, didn't hurt them. Probably a shout from someone. Can you shout with a gum shield in? I don't know. But... Anyway, the ball sprung to Luis Diaz on the left. He's got it up against his man. Can he go round? He does. Beat him. See you later. P beat him as well. Diaz to the box. Good defending. No, never a pen. Never a pen. Never Diaz is shouting for a penalty. Saying he was leaned on. Referee says no. What do you think, Adol? Does well originally. Does well, yeah. Is there a foul here? No. Probably not. Probably not. Let's see from this angle. It's leans on Ray, don't I don't think that's a, I don't think you'd give that as a definite penalty. It's probably good defender. But Diaz did well though, he beat it, he went past two of them. Palace. They've clearly they're attacking their left, Liverpool's right. But Ibu Knight as well. It's for Tayomi, 25 minutes feels like it's 24 minutes feels like it's flown by. Liverpool yet to really create Go anything on Darwin. clear. Darwin's in a bit of a physical battle. He's doing well. He's doing he's well. It. And he's flicked it through to Salah. Goalkeeper just gets there first. Unlucky from Nunes. He did really well there. He held the centre back off. Tried to find Salah. Just a little bit too much on it. Bit better though. Good hold up play there from uh, Darwin. 
<sighs> that was proper centre forward play, wasn't it? Liverpool have conceded four goals at home on the bounce without a response. Oh, we always can see. Oh yeah, we always can see goals now. It's, it's it's becoming a problem. First goals again. Palace attacking down their left. It's not by a coincidence that they're doing that. Can Liverpool win it back with Bradley? They should. Wins a throw in. Is that or a goal kick? Sorry. He's been quiet, at least he. So they haven't really gone down the right, have no. they? They, they? They're predominantly going down their left. As I am Mitchell. Bit of Mateta drifting out as well. As Liverpool get it back with Let's Allison. go. Spring that attack. Let's go, let's go. Be direct. No fucking about. Here's Robbo. Goes inside to Diaz. Looks up. He's got men for go Gives it back to Robertson. Can he get there first? He does. Well Brilliant done, by Robbo. Robertson. Well done, Robbo. Robbo crosses. Oh, well defended at the near post. Unlucky. By unlucky. Anderson. Liverpool's best player, Andy Robertson, so far. Everything good is coming via him. Just doesn't stop running, does he? He's just really well. Really well. Just gets on his bike and just continues to run. Good defender from Anderson. I think that's clearly been the instruction of Coughlin's to go revert back to... <laughs> right, lads, it's got to be the full-backs. All-out attack. Let's be direct with our full-backs. Let's get down there. Let's make up the ground and let's get a ball into the box. And Liverpool just... Gotta keep trying it. Corner comes in. If bounces back, round. Back to him. Oh, oh, Can someone well, just get it? Kick it at goal. Yes, it's yes. hit the bar. How's that not gone in? It's hit the crossbar. I couldn't even tell who did it. Liverpool want a free kick against him. It's not going to be coming. So Liverpool carry on. It's Diaz. He's done really well. Find Salah. Salah crosses again. Nunes. Can't quite get there. It's pinball and about Van Dijk on the edge of the box. How, was that Diaz with the shot? I think it was. Hit the bar. Here's Jones. Pulls it back, Palace clear. I see a replay. I'm pretty sure in People that scramble. In Lucho hit the bar. Lucho hit the bar. Oh. We're not going to see a replay because Liverpool's taking a quick throw in. There you go, the crowd seems more up for it. Goal mouth scramble nearly fell Liverpool's way. Hit the crossbar. Liverpool in the woodwork again. I'm pretty sure it was Diaz. Liverpool trying to find a way. Oh, some saying it was Endo. I didn't quite see it. Here we go again. Nice oh, by Bradley well. to win it back. Oh, it does on. really well. Finds Jones. Uh, just it. a little bit crowded out. Palace have got a man down. We're going to carry on. Play on. Fuck, leave him. Fuck, yeah, him. they <laughs> played up. <coughs> He's up now, anyway. Better from Liverpool. They're moving the ball quicker. Do you have to? Yeah, and everyone said it was Endo with the bar. I couldn't see. It was Endo, it was Endo. OK, we'll take your word for it until we see a replay. <laughs> here is Diaz, here is Jones. He's got Robertson to his left, uses him. Good ball That's to the back post by Robertson. Yes! Oh, oh, what a save! Oh, it was Diaz, yes. it was Diaz. I do, it was Diaz. With that acrobatic Henderson with them big what save. What a save. Talk was frusty. What a save. Robertson's ball to the back post is fantastic. Diaz acrobatically gets there. Oh, he doesn't know nothing about it. It's instinct from Henderson. Scrambles across, doesn't even dive, just gets a big paw to it. And it goes over the bar it's somehow. It's a bicep more than a fucking paw. But Liverpool are knocking on the door. They've hit the bar, they've had one saved off the line. They've had a good, a good couple of minutes here. Can they make it? Putting them under pressure, that's yeah. what it's about. Another corner comes in. New. Oh! That was Canati. That Canati, one, yeah. I think he should do better. He should. Should hit the target. Free Ezra. Should hit the target. We need to get back on our set piece bullshit, man. Car, we look at that. That's an unbelievable good save by Henderson. Man, Diaz does everything right. Let's see that this is the chance for the bar. They're gonna talk us through it. Yeah, so it does come in, it bounces around, it bubbles, it does, it is endo, innit? Just spins, he just spins and just gets tries to get anything on it, just bubbles back to him. It's, it's not tidy at all. <sighs> so, it's just lucky. Lucky. yeah, it's that, don't he? Yeah. He's fallen away, that's why he chips into the air. It's been a better couple of minutes from Liverpool. There's still no goal. Oh, Darwin's fouled, surely. Yeah. Free kick to Liverpool. Patrick Boyle, if that's true, that is shocking. What's that? We've conceded more goals in 2024 than the blue shite. 
that's a sickening stat. Because I mean, eight in cup games, all oh, Endo's give it away. Here come Palace on a break. Four on four. four on four. If they can work it well. Elise Again, no, Eze he's crosses he's in offside. Matete. He must be offside. Alisson what makes a big save. Who the fuck does he think he is? He was offside. It was a big save by Alisson, but he was clearly offside. Who Mateta. do you think you are? He went for a little Cruyff finish, didn't he? He was well offside. You cheeky bastard. That was all four he's yards offside. Yeah. <laughs> I'd have, I'd have, Good save by Alisson. Yeah, but there's no, who does he think he is? Definitely knew he was off. He had to. I mean, he should have. He was five yards offside. But Diaz plays inside to McAllister. Still on the edge of the box. Goes down! Oh. Penalty, penalty, penalty. Is it a penalty, penalty kick? It's a free kick. It's a free kick. It's a free kick. It's a free kick it's in the D. It's a free kick. Oi. Anderson saying you listen to the crowd. It's clearly a foul. Just where was it? Is the question is outside the box? Towards the box? To what? Yeah, it yeah, was. It, it was a yard outside. It's a clear foul. Probably a little bit too close to really get it up and over. We're going to have to be quite clever. I mean, how are they arguing about that? I know, I don't know how they're arguing about it. It was Lehman who fouls him. You yeah. are right, though. That's a difficult one to score from there. You're going to have to be clever with it. Work an angle, maybe. Because it is Can very you, close. We've seen Trent do, Trent the, do it the, the, the roll. flick and roll. Yeah, get yeah. it around the wall. Have Liverpool got that in from somebody? And if so, who hits it with no Alexander Arnold on the pitch? Probably Salah. Left footer though. Does, know, does it suit a left footer? Probably not. But. It's got to be a right footer, hasn't it? You would think. McAllister maybe. Mm. He's a clean striker of a ball. Yep. Yeah, there's Trent, Trent on the bench. He would love yeah. to be in there. Could you sub him on just for this? <laughs> Salah's in and. You've got to it. think Salah's got to shift it for for, for McAllister to have yeah. a shot. Yeah, hitching pass, play across for Mac Ten to Thunderbolts. That's what it's got to be. It's impossible to get it up and over. You would think it's impossible to get it up and down over the wall from there. The wall is like what? Slime Nine down. yards off, from, off the goal line, if that. Got some big players in there. Mateta's in the wall. Klein's on the floor. Liverpool are going to have to shift this. You would think. it's McCall I think McAllister's going to be the one who strikes it ultimately. Well, the most Salamites have a say in that. Flicks it backwards. McAllister blocked, yeah. It was, it was too hard. The wall does its job. It was always going to be difficult, that. Okay, lad. Sloppy, sloppy. They put went for the. It's similar that they used it before with Trent and Salah, haven't they? But the wall did its job. It was Eze who straight, straight out. Come straight out, just charged it down, no messing about. And that's such a basic one. We've we've seen that. We called that play. Like if we can call it and we don't play ball, like as I knew, that, as I knew what was coming, he did well. Yeah, they will have got to be a little bit better. Well, if we'll have um, we're, we're very, very, very predictable at the moment. You've had a good last five, ten, though. I think. Yeah, we have. We've put them under the, under the cosh. But again, this is part Ooh, of... Robbo's pass isn't the best, but McAllister makes something of it. And tries to find Salah. Good ball. Salah down the right-hand side. Can he beat do his him, man? Just do Up him. against Lerma. Salah shoots. Saved by the goalie. And he does well. Save. It's he parries it away save. as well. That's the main thing he does right. Doesn't push it back into danger. He got it straight away from Luis Diaz. That'll do, yeah. Liverpool win it back, though. That'll Brilliant do, yeah. From McAllister. Yeah, he ran into trouble, though, didn't he? Oh, keep going. it. Reds, get your foot on it. Endo does that. Man on. <sighs> didn't uh, A bit of a bastards. scramble. And Palace can break. Mateta did well. They come back and top his mates out. They all got a bit scrappy there, didn't they? They really did. <sighs> they pull off one back again. Trying to go long for Nunes to chase with Anderson. Goalie comes out and puts it in the stands. He's had a good 34 minutes, Dean Henderson. He has. He's had to. They pull take the throw in quickly to Diaz. They still put it up with a fight, Harold. The, the, the 50 50s are yeah. in there and the battling hard. They're not giving uh, Palace an easy ride of it, like. Ugh. 34 minutes gone, Liverpool 1 0 down. Looks like it's going to have to be those second half reds are going to have to find it in them again. Curtis Jones wins himself a throw in. Let Robo take that care, Harold, don't we? Yeah, the momentum charts all in Liverpool's favour. It's been all us. Palace looking to maybe sit back on the counter. They have a, uh, they've had a couple of moments yeah. on the counter where they've shown that they're, they're not here just to mess about. They, they are dangerous on the break. Well, 
in Liverpool just recycling the ball. I think left hand side's best for us at the moment. It's a rubbish ball by Endo to Anna Fan Salah. Just gives it away. And Palace and can Palace break. And break. Here they come again. Here's oh, Eze. Pray for the middle. It's Elise. His touch so is just poor. Heavy. He just lets him down at the vital oh, moment. Oh, if Elise could have controlled that, he'd have been straight into Alisson. Eze's having a good game now. The couple of yeah. opportunities that Crystal Palace have it was Endo crafted. Was passed, wasn't it? That just left Liverpool in a bit of bother. I'm all for taking risks, but it wasn't it wasn't even a calculated risk by Endo. It was an 80-20 ball. Salah mm. had no chance of getting to that. And before you know it, two passes and Palace were in. <laughs> two two passes and that's all it takes. But thankfully it didn't work out for for the visitors. It's because you've got better technicians. We're, we're, we're much more comfortable just having the ball and just holding it and moving it, but there's just something about being direct and just on the front foot that just gets the team un unnerved, man. Like, they can't get set. Like, even all of this there, look at that. Five. So going, well, they're parking park the bus. Just parking park the bus, just chilling. And why wouldn't you on 1 0? They pull go long looking for Bradley. Mitchell can head that clear. But they give a straight back to us. Endo to Jones. He's got Robertson to his left. Come on, Reds. Let's go, boys. Come on. Let's pick it up. Back to Van Dyke in the centre. Palace of shape's good, isn't it? Yeah, very it's, good. It's almost like 5 4 1 now. Out of possession. Yeah, really compact. Good. There's not much space between the lines there. <laughs> That's a good ball. Oh, and McAllister plays it in Darwin. I think he dummy that for Nunez for Diaz. Uh, we both went on the same page, though. And it goes through to the goalie. It's taking a little bit of time there, Dean Anderson. And just hoofs it up. Doesn't really get the distance that he would have wanted on it. Ah, a little flick again. Just the link up play between the front three just needs to be better. Pals go long, looking for Mateta, too hard, straight to Alisson. They can go again. Here's Virgil van Dijk inside, looking for McAllister, good ball to Salah. Go on. Salah tries to beat his man. Bit of a physical battle. And he gives away a foul. I think he's given free kick away in the end. Yeah, he has. Mitchell did well. Don't mind Saf from Salah though. It's been a while since you actually trying to see him beat his man. He beat him before for the shot, so why not? Mm hmm It's a free kick to Crystal Palace. <laughs> he must be offside. Yeah, he is. That was very strange from Eze. He was still offside the whole time. Was he not expecting the ball? Endo's got the boys looking for a pass. He's going to go long, looking for Nunes. Wins his flick on, maybe for himself. Anderson gets back to his goalkeeper, though. Power's been clear. Liverpool have won it, though. Go on, Connor. Get it under control. Unlucky. That's He's done, done well, done well, done well. Done really well. Ah, ah. Stood far, so he. he battled hard there, didn't he? Connor Bradley there. He did well, there. He did. Throwing the heel take himself. It's going to be another Liverpool, Liverpool throw in. So I was asking for it to his feet, but Conor Bradley goes the other way. Back to end, though. 40 minutes played. It's gone fast, hasn't it? it really has. That's what I'm saying about the chances. We've got to be more clinical because we have so much control of the game. <sighs> got a member chat there, Steve. You know, the thing that bothers me most is our manager 
have a couple of clock can't seem to have any influence on these bad starts. It's been eight or nine months. It has been too often when Liverpool have been slow to start. You're not wrong. I don't. I can't even know. There's not even like one thing I can put my finger on. You know what I mean? But you are right. It always, it always comes down to the players and the manager. It's on them, isn't it? They've, they've known about it for long enough. Twenty-one it's... times is it this season? I think I yeah. saw a stat for. Even if it's you, you choose to to not be as expansive in the opening 20 minutes and just see your way into a game and get a feel for it and, and then you just go on the attack it's like <laughs> Liverpool just don't do either we don't really go out and attack with any real ruthlessness or any, any direction the back door's open. <laughs> and then we just leave the back door open as well On Palace again, there's loads of space on the left. Too much for Mitchell. Tight term is touch. His touch wasn't great, was it? No. Ball comes into the box. Mateta's trying to hold it up. At least a shot straight to Alisson. No, listen, no danger. And that was the one that fucking beat Keller the other day. That really, really wasn't, too, yeah. wasn't too dissimilar to that. It has. It's all been down their left hand side. People are going down their right, same side. With Conor Bradley, I've seen a lot of them. Too much of Conor mm. Bradley in an attacking sense. He's been limited, Danny. So yeah, McCallum's just saying, where's my ball? He kind of passes somewhere over the top. Looking for Nunes. Can he get there? Nunes across goal. Oh, it's cleared, is it? Diaz doesn't get it on target in the end. It was just all a bit scrappy. Nunes did so well to get to that. Oh, he's offside anyway. After all that. Was he offside? Yeah, he probably was, wasn't he? Salah wouldn't have been. Nunes probably was. Goalkeeper got himself in a right mess, though. Because defenders bailed him out, but I think you're right. I think the offside flag was right in the end on Nunes. He showed some pace there, Darwin, to reach that. Not a palace defending for the lives, though. McAllister is so strong, like an ox, isn't he? Let, let us play! Let, him let go. us play! Let us play, you dickhead! Why has he brought that back? They brought the ball. These refs are just don't know the game. McAllister was fouled. We had to end up the that ball. End, yeah, exactly. Let us play. No advantage whatsoever. Fucking shocking. Next goal in this game is absolutely massive. Liverpool have to score. Good ball by Canate to Endo, opens a couple of spaces up for Robertson. Again, best option from an out. Back to Endo. Oh, his touch is poor though. Mateta wins it, that was poor by Endo. It was almost like he was thinking of the pass before he had the ball in, under control. Frank Billy have won his straight back with, with Jones, man on. <laughs> so I feel like I said man on about 15 times. Mm. Like, so his pals have been battling hard. Canate loses out. Oh, careful. What's the counter attack? Here goes Elise sprinting through. It's Elise into the box. Flips inside. Brandai blocks. The pull needs to get the ball back. There we go. They've done well. Can they keep hold of it though? Nope. And those used to the ball has been poor, Errol. It's not been good, has it? Just a little bit rushed. She's trying to just force it forward a little bit too much. And I do want us to be direct, but the runs and the passes have got to be accurate. Everyone's gonna be on the same wavelength if you're gonna be direct. There's not one there's no put there's no point just one man. Ooh. Oh shut up. Mateta saying he was pushed by Van Dyke. He has a header at goal. Was he pushed? Nah. Hardly. A nudge. That's awful. What? When has that ever been a foul in any? Outside of the foot ones, yeah. They call little travellers or something. Mad. Nunes battling strong. Loses that one, unfortunately. Mateta must. Oh, it was on side. He's mad, mad on side. Here come Palace. Can Liverpool win it back? Yes, Jones. Come on. Done enough. As we approach half time, there won't be too much out of time, I don't think. There hasn't been any. Not no, in terms of stoppages. That one little free kick. Here's Diaz. Doing well. Really well. He's a fucking Beyblade, nice. you know. Come on, Liverpool, just before half time, 
with McAllister right hand side. Poor ball, Alex. Alexis McAllister's pass to Robert to Bradley was just not right, and it's a throw in. Two minutes out of the long time. Look at that, everyone just looks fucking nervous. Everyone looks how we feel, bro. Hey, we still don't have a thousand likes, that might be why. Get that like button. Playing guys. in the community now. I, I, not blaming. I am. Just saying, can you help us out? Your fault. <laughs> <laughs> you need to take a good look in the mirror, everybody, at half time. Liverpool win it back again. Come on. Despite the scoreline, I'm actually they enjoying it. They press and Harry so well, they have done yeah, that again. He's win it back again. Carlos goes long, looking for Nunes too long, straight to the goalkeeper. Joe just gets into his box and he picks it up. Someone's asked for Fields around Field Road. <coughs> the Indian Anderson's taking the mic with his. Um, what I would say, Liverpool have options. It's a very strong Liverpool bench if the manager wants to change anything. We thought that on Thursday night, and then look what happens. They let these lads fucking put it right. Oh, yeah, I, I think, yeah, I understand your point. It, they pull a quick throw in. 30 seconds to go to half time. It's the chance for one last attack. Jones loses out. Uh, Kurtz hasn't, Kurtz, it hasn't been the Kurtz's greatest half. I wasn't sure with the selection in the first place. Don't care. It's just, it just doesn't fit to me, like 100% fit. Listen, I'm the man, they know more than me, the, man, the manager and the medical team, but... Half-time then, Liverpool trail Crystal Palace by a goal to nil. Um, as a early strike, the difference, Liverpool have hit the woodwork, they've had one cleared off the, well, they've had one saved off the line, but also Andy Robbo cleared one of theirs off the line, it could have been a lot, lot worse, but Errol, it, it, we've been here before, there's no... This, this is an unfamiliar territory. We know these lads can get out of it, but my goodness, they keep putting themselves in this position. Well, it's a, you know, we, we said it for a, a while last year, you know, going to the well when things aren't going right, you're having to really dig deep to turn things around. And it almost feels like at this, at this particular moment in time, this is how our season's going to go between now and the end of the season. We're going to just have to keep digging deeper than what we would like because we don't have, not necessarily the control, but we don't, we're not airtight at the back, are we? We, we leave the back door open, their goals comes far too easily for them. And, and in terms of attack, yeah, we're creating chances today. We seem to be a little bit more aggressive, times a little bit more direct, but ultimately when it matters in front of goal, we haven't really got that nerves of steel all that composure to just do the business and I think that's going to be a reoccurring theme for us between now and the end of the season because it, it, there isn't really the time to fix it unfortunately you've just got to trust that your quality can come good and I still believe that the quality is is, is there in abundance so you know we, we can you know dismantle teams two three goals to the good on any given day but again, it's goals, breathing confidence, and that's four goals that Liverpool have conceded now, where we haven't without without answer, and and that is going to take a, a knock on your confidence and your belief that you can go on and score and and overturn games. And that the on for being honest, we can't afford the draw here today. It, it feels it felt like a must win before the ball was kicked. It feels even more like a must win now at half time and we're one nil down. And you know the lads will probably think, oh, you know, great character and great every, and if we can come and turn it round, but that's the energy and the character that we need from the out really and I think that's where Liverpool just keep letting themselves down and teams will just continue to find encouragement <coughs> until we can find a way to disprove that you know you can't just rock up to Anfield or you can't just you know rock up to a game in 20 minutes be 1-0 up teams will continue to feel as though there's something the Liverpool team can be got at and it's it's very very difficult right now when our quality isn't showing through you've kind of got to look at it and say you know what fair play to Palace because they've stuck to the game plan they've been disciplined they've fought for it they've not won every 50-50 but they've been in there they've been willing to battle and when they did get a chance in the final third once again they've put theirs to bed yeah, no, 100% and it's again same almost like I'm sitting here going and I can see the comments section is going absolutely mental. I understand. Like, Liverpool have been here before. They, they, they are. And that's just the, that is the nature of this season. It's just, it, it's been this all season. It's been a battle. And at some point, it's going to come and cost you. And Liverpool need to make sure that isn't today. Mm. It happened on Thursday. You can only go to the well. And they went to the well. Now, I, I mentioned before, there's a strong bench. And maybe you're looking at that to try and bail you out. But you, like you said, you know, it's up to the 11 on the pitch. But I do think, 
it's been a bit slow. Mm. The tempo's been a bit slow. Bit I don't like We we seem to speed up from about twenty five minutes to about 30, 32, 33. Yeah. It seems to just speed up a little bit in midfield. But then obviously the disruption of the the free kicks, uh, a, a few a few half chances in. It, but it just at the moment Liverpool just really struggling to find that groove and and keep that sustained pressure at the minute. And as you said there. When it slows down, it, like we, we spotted it, it slowed down and then we looked at Palace's shape and there was no space. <laughs> Once they're set, it becomes increasingly difficult. And yeah, we've got a few more technicians on the ball. Curtis Jones is, is technically sound. You've got, you know, McAllister, who's good, and Unendo can play through, through the lines. But when there's not that much space and then the players on the other team are still not going to give those midfielders time on the ball... Everything just has to be that little bit quicker. We need to up the tempo massively. Oh yeah, it, it, it feels a bit slower times, doesn't it? We've had um, Bumba Dog, thanks for the super chat. I've ne- we've never missed Milner more. Van Dijk is not a captain, really. We need an on-field play dig in the team. I mean, Van Dijk does do that. Yeah. Does it always take a cop? I don't think it's a pep talk. I think it's a tactical thing. It's got to be, I think it, yeah. the half-time stuff, but... <sighs> Listen, Milner wasn't playing. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I don't know. It doesn't look like the athlete. I, I, I don't know. I, I, can't, I can't put my finger on what happens, to be honest. It's... It's been okay at times and really poor at other times. Joel says no intensity. Nunes has been poor again. Jota on, please. Has Nunes been... I don't know what he's done. Yeah, I think he... he He's been anonymous more than poor. Yeah, again, it's about... um... The creating of the chances for him, we, he doesn't really, have any, doesn't he doesn't really, really add any. anything to feed off. Do you know what I mean? And mm. again, the balls in that final third, the, they've got to be. We can't just keep being wasteful. That's just how it's all it boils down to for me. It's like look at look at Palace as one opportunity that that they go out and create. They make the run. They see that the man's free. They play the ball into the man, and the man just confidently puts it into the back of the net. We're not doing the basics in the final third, right? Everything's over complicated. Everything just seems rushed or forced into areas. We're playing cutbacks because we like oh now we're in this area. Let's just cut it back. But who's there? Who's now realizing? Okay, they're on for the cutback. Let me make the run to the near post, or let me drop off and go towards the pen spot. Nobody. He's really using the smart in and around the final third to make the simple look easy. We're constantly making hard work of it. Look at this. Runs in, drifts off. There's the man. Happy, uh, happy days. Easy, I'm trying easy to figure out who's easy, 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 Enzo kind of points at it. But then, to be fair to Enzo, he has to go and close so the ball there, But nobody wants to. Carlos does it. Loses out there. Jones gets dragged to the ball. Dragged to the ball. So he's got all that space. So he's Jones's man. And he doesn't ever come back. Van Dijk. It's Van Dijk, that mate. Tell you now, Canate does the right thing. Canate goes to the front post, Endo goes to the ball. That's got it's Virgil's got to come across. He has to. You can't mark them out at the back post and leave them out at the front post, post open. open. That's 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 I think that's poor by Virgil Van Dyke Van Dijk for me. Um couple more super chats. Uh Liam says, let's pick the lads back up. Yeah, they, they, they certainly need it. There's no point piling in yet. And says I'd throw Trent on to try and unlock their defence. It depends how long how long's Trent got in him, because you're right. Could be an option. Uh, Scareface, players or Klopp. Knowing his time's up and Caddy can't... He just left us to see... I don't understand what you're trying to say. I think Klopp, Klopp felt this time coming. I disagree with that. I think like, if he was going to leave because of that, he'd have left last year. Not this year. But I don't know, mate. I don't... Ah. And then jo- Jose or Jose Lucas says it's been out downhill since United in the FA Cup. I think performance-wise it hasn't been great. I think you're right. I do think, I know, I know you're saying what these lads are on the pitch, but I do think there's lads coming back from injury. Liverpool need to hand the baton over too soon. Mm. These lads have put the shifts in for a while, and I think it might be. But, listen, there's plenty of time left for Liverpool if they, if they, if they can create the chances. They created the couple. Actually, not too many. Endo's hit the bar. They, there was a very good save from Henderson, from Diaz. Mm. So there's enough there. My major concern is that Palace looked dangerous on the break. Yeah. And that's the, that is the worry, isn't it? Can Liverpool score twice and, and keep the back door closed at the same time? Well, I went for a nervy two-one for that reason. Yeah, and hopefully, hopefully your prediction comes right. See, I think Robertson's been the best player. Yes, and I think if Liverpool, I think that should be Liverpool's plan to try and feed Andy Robbo more. I think Diaz has been good actually, as well. Both of the players on the left hand side have been good, but it's um, it's it's been hard work again. We had it before. Wouldn't it be nice just not have to work hard to win a game sometimes? Like, and, and we just haven't quite got there yet. It's that's all over now. That there's pressure, and I feel like you're know right. The, the, the way, the way, the, the worst thing is, and I hate to be that guy, but if we was to, for whatever reason, lose this, and feel as though it's over the title race, the pressure alleviates straight away, 
and it is what it is. Let's just let's just make sure we whoever wins it has to win it by as many points as possible Shite. at that point. And I think once the pressure's off us, I think we start playing ball again. We I think while wow, we're under the cosh of this pressure and this cacophony. You think that's what it is? Yeah. Half of it half it's it's a mental block. Yeah. Half of it's got to be the 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 We've played so well. We've kept within touching distance of both of the two of the best teams in the country all season when there was no pressure to do so. It almost felt like, well, every week we'll just take a week by week. We was under the radar. Nobody was really talking. From the start of the season up until Christmas, nobody was talking about Liverpool being in, being in a title race. Everyone was Arsenal City, Arsenal City, Arsenal City. Spurs at one point, Arsenal City. It's ever since the new year when Liverpool have started to now cook a little bit, turn up the heat, get some big results, some big performances, some big goals. The pressure in turn has come with that. And a couple of these lads, they're not used to it. A couple of these lads, this is a very new feeling to them. And they haven't been able to pull themselves up to that level. A couple of the older heads that we'd expect that we can deal with the pressure, they've even let themselves down. And when when you rely on someone who's so, so used to being able to deal with that pressure and you see, oh, well, they've got cracks in their armour as well and, and they're not airtight, it starts to seep through the rest of I the hope, team. I hope, I hope it's not that. I, I hope it's not and, and I'm I genuinely... Your, I see your point. I, 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 that's just how it, that's that, how that, it feels. That, that is how you bottle stuff, isn't it? Yeah. yeah I, I hope it's not. Listen, I, I want to say, it's been, this, this has been all season. Like, Liverpool haven't started games well. They've yeah. been called second half FC for a reason. There's obviously something in there that isn't quite working in first halves. Algebra says another 4 free to Liverpool. Come on the Reds when we take it at this point. Luke has been a member for 45 months. Thanks Jeez. very much, Luke, for supporting the channel. Appreciate it. it. Says 45 months and still going strong. I feel like we failed to unlock Nunes. We're so slow to give him the ball behind. So that when we do, it means he's off a lot. Get it in quicker in behind and you'll see him come alive. He is offside a lot. <laughs> and then Joel says, I feel like Klopp never learned how to tackle and break down low blocks. I mean, I could not disagree more with that. He relies on individual brilliance or brute force. I disagree with that again. Liverpool, do, Liverpool can break down low blocks. I disagree with that. I, I, do, I don't He's agree done with that before. at all. Get the ball to the byline, move the ball quick, be direct, don't waste your chances loads and goals. score loads of goals. <laughs> I, I, disagree. I don't think that's right. It's cross I'm sick of this defending every... That's the problem. I actually think Liverpool at times defend really well, but there's always one where it's an absolute stinker. stinker. Yeah, yeah, and then you're asking your strikers to score twos and threes to win games. It's 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 one of them. It's it's not been great. Right, we are four and a half minutes roughly away from the start of the second half. I've just had a text from Go the on. gaffer from Go Paul, on. who's at Anfield, who says... Who's warming up? It looks like Sir Bosley is stripped off and ready to come on. So I wouldn't hate that. That would be for Jones, wouldn't it? You would think. Yeah. Or Endo. And then put. Mm. They both have been. I think they've both been off it. Off it a little. So yeah. do you go end. Do you move in McAllister favour? Do you know what I'd do, right? And I'm, this is bold as fuck, yeah. I would jib off the endo shit now. From now, on. he's done his job. He was only ever meant to be a bit part player, and he's been fantastic. Don't get it twisted. But I'd bin him off between now and the end of the season for the Prem games. Put McAllister back in that six, get to Bosley back on the pitch and try and get him his form, and keep Jones and alternate between Jones and, and Harvey Elliott where, where we the can. Thing, the thing and the Graven Birches and the Gakpos. Because there aren't that many teams now where I expect us to need an out and out six where they're going to just be just one of them. What you're doing is you're moving McAllister back. Yeah. He's been great. He's been, he's been great as an eight. He's been great as an eight. But he's good with every place for us in the team, and we need that little. The bit midfield more. balance today hasn't been right for me, so exactly. I, I'm not surprised about lies coming on. We'll find out who it's for. Let us know in the chat whether you're in the Discord, whether you're in the YouTube, or whether you're on Facebook. Let us know any subs that you would make at half time. And yet we'll be back with the second half of Liverpool versus Crystal Palace after this quick break. See you all in a couple of minutes. Hello everyone, we've got an amazing competition prize for you this month. It is this incredible Liverpool away shirt from 0405, signed by none other than goal scoring hero that season, Mr. Neil Mellor. Yes, if you want to be in the draw to win this, then head to redmenplus.com, sign up as a legend tier subscriber or upgrade from a captain tier and get your name in the hat at the end of the month for this wonderful signed Liverpool shirt. See you there. The best there is, best there was, the best there ever will be. Ooh, okay. <laughs> Is he the 50th best signing of all time? They'll tell you that they're the best player 
He was the best player they ever played with. Famous photos of him being carried off and stuff, and that was that was what he left everything on the pitch. Shankly 2.0 and what happened the way we see today with what Klopp trying to do with his 2.0. How can he be this good? He's so much better than everybody else that's ever played the position. Yeah, okay, fine, fine. I mean, <laughs> this, it shouldn't be ahead of Sunez in the, in, in the back in order. 47,000 people wanted to pay him a pound a week to stay. That tells you all you need to know about what we thought of that guy at that moment in time. He should be a lot higher. Yeah, like world class. I think, I think world class. Quite clearly, who am I to question the vote? He was astonishing. You know, his, his ability, his agility was just um, second to none. Oh, have I forgiven him yet? He, did be, he, he might be in my top ten, that's how much love I've got for him. <laughs> I've done more for Liverpool than at the moment. Am I in this list? Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Yes, it's the second half approaching of Liverpool versus Crystal Palace. Once again, we find ourselves in a rather familiar position of Liverpool trailing or needing a miracle, well, not a miracle, just a better performance, really, at a second half. Yes, it is Endo off Sir Bosley on for the second half. I think it made sense. I don't well, think Endo, why, why I don't McCallister, think Endo was... Why move McAllister back, though? He's played his best football in the eight. Yeah, because... We need more. Me. Now that was someone in the chat. That, I thought that, that was, was a silly me. suggestion. It wasn't a silly suggestion because the gaffers just went and fucking done it. And now when we win two one, I expect your apologies to be as loud as your disrespect. I thought that was me. No, no, you good, you good. No, you're listen, good. I said this, so I'll take it. <laughs> 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 but I, I under, I, and those not play well. I, I don't, I don't disagree with that one. Um, well, the super chat from Richard who says, lads, at least you're not United in seventh. Every class, I mean, it, it, yeah, but no. That's not helpful right now, Richard, but I, I appreciate the sentiment mm. as they will get the second half underway, attacking the cop end. McAllister is going to play as that number six. We don't, yeah. we don't need, we don't need, Endo served his purpose and he's been absolutely brilliant. But for me, in, these, in this running now, the, the, the way we started the season, it was McAllister in that position and we got off to a good start with that midfield. I think we can find that balance again and that's what I think what Klopp needs to go back to. I think it depends on the game. Listen, what I would say is it that... It does, end, but there's not many games left where Endo's going to be under wave after wave. Maybe Villa. Oh, will, maybe, oh, oh, that looks bad. That, oh, Connor Bradley's just gone down. Holding his leg. He's in some pain. Connor Bradley there. He's had a he challenge with Eze. That didn't look great, did it, mate? He's, oh, his leg's twisted. That might not be a great one for Conor Bradley. He's holding his ankle or his shin area. He kind of got stuck between, under his body. Ooh, his ankle's twisted ankle, badly yeah, there. Yeah, he felt it straight away. Ligaments. I'm thinking ligaments. He's in some serious pain there, Conor Bradley. His left ankle it was that got stuck underneath him. It might be... Has Trent got half in him? Because if he hasn't, it'll be Gomez who comes on. If, if Conor Bradley can't continue. That looked nasty, didn't it? It really did. I'm not turning on anybody. I'm just trying to get the best for the team right now. Yeah, listen, all, all I would say, maybe end, maybe there's something about Crystal Palace that Endo struggles with. He got hooked the last time against them last time and he got stuck with them today. You can, listen, if someone's having a bad game, you're allowed to say someone's having a bad game. It's not even a, it's not even a bad, a bad game for me. It's just what I would do going forward as a, a, as a, a midfield Lippo option. Are gonna, yeah, Bradley's coming off. Trent alexander coming yeah, on straight away. So Lippo, there's, there's Liverpool's next show, but straight away. It, it didn't look good for Conor Bradley, that. His ankle got stuck underneath him. Trent's put straight back damage. to the bench. That could be him till the end. Of, that could be him for the season, though. Uh, Scarface says Dan's. Dan's a shredded all season. I want this guy on our bench. He probably got it. He's not even in he's it. Not even, he played. He, he was good for the under twenty one the other day, but I thought Gappa was good. Do I to be honest? I'm not. He, he wasn't even good for him recently. Some of his best footy. Stop being negative or get out of the chat. Says Deno. We support or whatever. I hate when the chat argues. Be nice. Be be nice to each other. It's hard. Everyone's got a difference of opinion, and that's fine. That's that's what makes. What it I hate a, is a fair the, I hate, I, What I hate is we're shit because we're not shit. We're not shit. Like that's bollocks, and we're, we're not going to win another game. And all, like just that bollocks. 
Conor Bradley's in some pain. He's getting hobbled. He's hobbled. He can't, he's put, out, he can't put any weight on it. That's such a shame for Conor Bradley. And you just he's hope that's in. not as long term as it looks. That could be the season, couldn't yeah, it? I think it will be the season, to be honest with you, mate. And it's such a shame for him. But if you need to bring someone on, it's not the worst thing in the world to bring on the vice captain of the football club. On comes Trent Alexander Arnold. Connor Bradley looks really in some in some pain there, doesn't he? Bless him. Liverpool chipped that's the second sub they've made one and a half time one early forced. on in the second half. Yeah, forced second but half. But it does mean of course they've got, they've, they've got they've now got three options left. That didn't look great, did it? No. You'd be I surprised think. if he's back. If he's back before the end of the season, now. What's going to happen straight away is Alexander Arnold's going to go and do the inverted stuff. Here he is. He's drifted straight inside. Nice to see Trent back on the pitch. He really is. Been missed for so long. Canate goes long. Can Liverpool get there? No, it's too uh, long. Too close, in, too close. Too close. Too close. Yeah, and as Andrew says, the one in one out continues. It's like a revolving door for Liverpool, isn't it? Someone gets injured, get come back, and then the next one goes. It's, it has been. It felt, it's felt like that a lot. It'll offer a different tactical setup because Alexander Allen will invert more, you would think. He did, he did it straight away then. Dean Henderson kicks it straight back to Liverpool. Here is Trent down the line to Salah. Holds it up. Does well, Salah. In, no, I don't, didn't. Did we keep that in? No. I don't hate Trent being on the pitch. No. It's just I wouldn't like, obviously, the circumstances of, of Bradley getting injured is, is, is a shame. There's McAllister concedes a free kick. Is Klopp leaving affecting the player's form? I wouldn't think so. Because Liverpool won every game for like a month. <laughs> he announced he was leaving in November. Mm -hmm. you know what I mean? He did well in that kick. He did well. shit hot for months. Yeah, so I don't think so. It is crucial, like I said to you before, that's the next goal in this game is that means absolutely oh, everything for the, yeah, the absolutely. balance of the season. Yeah. Liverpool just need to try and find a little bit of rhythm again now. Uh, that disruption there from Bradley wouldn't have done us any favours either. So Liverpool just need to get it on the ball. Again, controls there. The but let's just wants, yeah. let's just be quick with it. Alexander Arnold pass. Oh, I go straight to the man. That wasn't a good ball from Trent. And Palace made it back. All the way back to the keeper. Isn't the greatest kicker in the world, Dean Anderson, from what I've seen so far? That might be something to pull up to play on, maybe. It's powerless. Yeah, in the front, in the middle now. Right then. They pull make two changes. Then one at half time, one just after. Endo went off for Sabozlai at half time. Then. Bradley on, off with an injury, unfortunately for him. Trent Alexander Arnold on. It didn't look great that for him, did it? His ankle, he kind of sat on his own ankle and twisted it. He put his full body weight under it. And yeah, good. Like he wasn't. He was just committed to the challenge, like. Come on, let's turn up the heat. Let's give the ball away about four times. <laughs> well, Mateta just skins Alexis McAllister, and here's Will Hughes. He's got Eze in. Big chance for Palace. Cross goal. Straight across goal. He's going to go all the way through, though. Palace have kept it in. It's Elise. It's Wharton shot. It's blocked. Calipul clear. Ooh, don't, give away a foul. don't give away a foul. It's a Mateta foul. Sir Bosley. They played, that was too easy, they went right through us there. Here come Liverpool, into the box. Nunes to the byline, crosses! Goal kick, didn't get enough on it. 
I'm just always running away from him. I didn't see how we got there, sorry, because he was showing a replay of their chance. I, do, but I can't really tell you what happened. We just, it came back from replay and Nunes was in the box. I think it's them from Andy Robertson. Is he on score there? I think he was just trying to cut it back. Trying to get some purchase on it. I didn't even see how we got in there, to be honest. I think that's the outball. I think, mm. I think Robertson's the kid. He's got to be. He's in good form and he's playing well. I think I want to bomb him forwards if we can. As Van Dyke's got the ball now. <coughs> Here's the boss like. Nice. Nice one to pull. Salah tackle, throw it. Ball back in play with McAllister. Trent Steffo just he is just chilling in the field really and he's he's not playing right back at too much here. Similar to like the start of the season, Trent and McAllister like double pivots. Mm -hmm. Can no, I take a good ball. ball to Jones? Jones around the corner. Ah, oh, oh, that was such touching such his face, but he's won it back he's still. With it, though. Done well. Back well, heel to Salah. Really Salah crosses. That's, Jones oh. can't get it. Was he fouled? He's got to have been. Was he not fouled? No, I don't know. It, it, it's a corner to Liverpool. So just, 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 he, he does well. Turns two of them, rolls it back to Salah. Was Jones no, fouled there? Uh, I, don't, I don't know. It's a hard one to really say. That's yeah, a foul? Yeah, 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 he is, maybe. Kicked him on the ankle. We're not going to be giving it a throw in. It looked a foul to me, that. Corner comes in. Fourth That's going to be... Oh, oh, no! How's he saved that? No! I can't believe it. I actually can't believe it. How has he not put that in the back of the net, Steve? How? It's a what save, you fuck. Just puts his knee up. That one just spins and hits it. As hard as he can. Oh, he's unlucky. It's a great... Oh, Henderson is a wall for Crystal Palace at the moment. Anyway, oh. another corner comes in. Not a good one. But... Oh, flashes across the face of goal. What's going on? Oh, no, my God. Salah retrieves. I'm not built for this life. Back to not what was like. Oh, so what like. Touch was a stinker. So just, you better fucking run your balls off and get that ball back. Darwin did it for him. Nunes wins it back. The Liverpool break again. Here goes McAllister. The outer Nunes. Nunes, cross. Ah, oh, Salah's touch just gets away from him. It's better from Liverpool, though. He just puts his thigh up, doesn't he? He, he strikes it well, Nunes. He, he gets the power on it. <sighs> Better from Liverpool, though. Well done, by Trent. Come on, Reds. Come on, boys. Come on. We can do this, you know. Just stick it on them. Get that first goal and then just boom. Pepper and the keeper, that's what we've been asking for. Good ball by Canate. Jones spins well, as that's good for Liverpool. It's better. Here's Robertson, early ball in. Cleared by Palace. I don't think it was a good ball. I'm not sure. I think Palace will be happy with that all day if you, can, if you do that. And then Robbo and Jones, not on the same page. Throw in. Robbo bottled Curtis Jones then. Wasn't happy. Come on, believe. No point feeling hard, don't you? Let's keep going. Tenno says, is this okay, Redman? I don't know what you mean by is this. Is that this part? Performance, half. I think they've responded a bit better.
Paul's arm pressing now, he's saying that they're happy to sit, sit in. back. Liverpool, Liverpool's forward pattern's actually not been too bad recently. I suppose like chased, yes, he's had to go back to his goalie. Trent in space, going to go for the big switch, who's he looking for? For that. He's had a couple of those, two, Trent. Liverpool have won it back though with Jones, just loses out, a bit of a physical battle, let the pull win. That's better, that's better. Ah. There Mayfield's doing, uh, doing a, a decent carrying job. How long has Jota got in his legs is another question, isn't it? Has he got mm. half an hour in him? Is he watching? And who for the yeah? That's because he, he's the man. Salah, maybe. Can I think pass forward to Paul and we get another, another chance at it? We need to find two goals in half an hour, Steve. We absolutely oh, yeah, need yeah, man, to. I was about that. Massive. Let's just get that first one in the next five minutes. Here's Luis Diaz on the run. Crosses. It's going to be a Liverpool corner. That'll do. We've actually caused a bit of panic off corners yeah. recently. They haven't looked great. No. In this game especially, they've not looked great at all. To make or break time, says Liam. Get Jotter on. I'm sure we'll see him at some point. I do not care how this ball goes over the line. We have to. Because at one point we were top of that graph. Now a lot of teams have went and got 10 and Arsenal got 13. Corner comes in. Yes. And Arsenal's header down oh, to Salah. What are you trying to fucking do? Keep you up for there, bro. Trent fires it in. Canate's touch is brilliant. Ricocheting round Van Dijk. Diaz. Still here. It's a scramble. Oh, fucking hell. What the fuck was that? What the fuck was That's that? That's a Bosley shot goes miles over. What what was that? I'm trying to see what, what Salah happened. So the corner comes in. It's flicked on. It, oh, no, to be fair, it just it's, it's cannons off Salah. Oh, just get touched. Just get away from him. Tell you what, this clock is going so fast. <sighs> it's a nervy sentence. He goes to Bosley down the right, sprinting forward. Good challenge, though, throwing to Liverpool. I know Tank, oh my god, McAllister just sells Alexander Arnold short there with a terrible pass. And here come Palace on the break. Mateta gets there first, holding it up. Can Liverpool take it off him? No foul, Ibu. Don't foul him. Well done, Reds. McAllister and Canate between them have done well there. But can they get out of that mess? Back to Alisson, they've done well there. Hang on. I've said that about ten times there, haven't I? That's, how, that's what Palace are doing. It's the Harry and Liverpool. I think Trent's best passes in midfield. I know he can do the, the amazing stuff. It's those little five yard angles that he makes. That, that's what, yeah, we haven't seen too much of that yet. That's usually when I think he's at his most effective. As the cross comes into the Palace box, Anderson clears, what, half clears, and part, yeah. I think they'll deal with that, you know. I think they're quite comfortable with that. Liverpool quick free kick that huge giveaway and here comes Diaz into Nunes back to Diaz doesn't get there Sabozlai Salah Alexander Arnold shot over <sighs> better from Liverpool they moved the ball quick took the quick free kick Arnold what do you think they moved the ball fast didn't they Van Dijk moves it gets it on its way Diaz plays it in early just gets a little bit lucky for it Sabozlai plays it into Salah's path Alexander Arnold can't keep his Shot down. Sad, sad thing is really like, what's that? A hundred, hundred and fifty minutes of football played, and Liverpool haven't scored a goal. Yeah, and the absence here, two goals in half an hour, seemingly impossible at this point. I mean, it's been a while since they've scored a goal at home. They've got what twenty-eight minutes to get two. The title is not gone. I refuse to believe the title is gone. Well, yeah, the game isn't finished. No, but people in the chat trying to tell me, oh, don't no, tell no, me no. nothing. 
People, uh, people like negativity. That's fine. Here come Palace down there, left in, but they've given it away. Alexander Hano just smashes it forward. So we throw into Palace deep inside their own half. That they're gonna be in no rush to take him short. Watch this be the weekend that fucking Arsenal drop points as well. And then watch, this in the be, again. watch this be the fucking <laughs> weekend that they drop points, you know. Watch. Come on, Liverpool. They're gonna bring it's Gakpo and is that Jota? Yeah, it looks yeah. like. I wouldn't be surprised if Jones goes off and Gakpo goes into midfield. Mm -hmm. I'm fine with it. Yeah, so I was right. If we don't win this, our season's over. I would agree. Yeah, near enough. It's going to take a miracle on Thursday for it not to be. Van Dijk's just taking a bit of a whack. So it's Jota. Oh, that'll Gakpo, do you. That'll do you, Trent. Moment, no, ball. not on Hollywood. Not on Hollywood. Nothing. Hollywood. <laughs> See? They could have won it back with Jones, though he might be going off in a minute. I wouldn't be shocked if it's Jones and who would it be up? Would it be Diaz or would it be Nunes or Salah? Nunes. Yeah, I'd, I'd be tempted by Salah, you know. I don't think he's fit. Mike Johnson says bring Mo off. Jordan and Gapper will be on shortly. They could have to the ball out. I'm just, I'm just good to be just, just fucking beating ourselves. Plays inside, good ball into Diaz. He's referee. Referee, referee. What? What? What for you, ref? No foul given. They pull in the back though with Elise. Are they gonna take the make the sub now? No, not ready. We we'll take a quick throw in instead. So as I took the throw, and he could have waited for the sub, but he's decided to get on with it. I mean, it makes fucking. Entertainment, fucking entertainment value for everybody else. But as a Liverpool fan, all you want to see is your team just have control of a game and just fucking a little bit of discipline. Just get do your job. I'll take the quick free kick again. Desperate to keep the ball moving. Left hand side. Sad thing is for me, I always felt that you know, once we win the first league, once we we need to win a league like the way Chelsea used to win a league, have it done by Christmas. Once we've done that, I always thought, yeah, we could. We could, we could got what it takes now. Now we've got that duck off our back. There's a chance that if we do need to be in a title race with anyone, so. we'd fancy it. <sighs> Still just proves 38 games is just too many for Liverpool. I hope you're wrong. I hope I'm wrong <laughs> as well, but... Van Dijk goes long. Looking for Salah. Nods it down. What kind of fucking way? Find Sabos like crosses blocked out and Palace on the top. They're defending quite well, aren't they? That's the problem. That's another issue Liverpool have got here. And here they go on the break. They play it up to Mateta, but Canati comes across. That'll be time for it's the subs. Be subs. No, I didn't forget about anything about our fucking city. I know that they exist, but it's going to be. So how can how can you guarantee every time that they're in the title race with so us? You're right. It's Nunes going off. Hmm. I said Nunes. And Diaz. Okay. So he's changing two of the front three. Mm. Who's gone off there, Nunes and Diaz? Yeah, Scott's confirmed. Thanks, Scott. Yeah. It's all right, boys and girls. This Liverpool team are going to have to put it right now. Jota's finishing is the best. Liverpool get a four over to him. Here he is straight away in the action. But uh, Sabozla is half giving it away. Mitchell's done well. Liverpool won it back. Nice by Gakpo. Salah back to Gakpo. Gakpo crosses. To oh, Jones misses it! Liverpool still got it though with Robertson back in. One time ball. Liverpool scream for that ball, they're playing on for now. I'm sure VAR will check, but I'm not sure, I didn't even see if it was, to be honest. Gakpo's been brought on to make an impact, and he's certainly trying, he's gone, ran right to the other side of the pitch to try and do so. McAllister's ball in's too heavy. Could Jones not have swung a leg at that? Is it an ball? I don't think that's an ball, is it? He yeah. took his arms in. It's in the silhouette. 
Yes, they find the guy. I don't think that's on ball. Offside. I see that Jones chance. He looked like he's out of control. Could he not have just swung a leg? Carl's going to make their change. They're going to send Jordan Ayew on for Elise. Just come back from injury. They put with 22 minutes roughly to try and get themselves back. As it stands, though, Palace are defending so well. Here's Alcantar Arnold. Find Sabozlai. Sal around the corner to Sabozlai. Crosses over his own bar by Anderson. Good defending. I'll tell you what, mate, Liverpool are asking some questions, but Palace are more than capable of this for defending, Arnold. Goal now. So boss last corner. Can he find Virgil van Dijk's head? Cross comes in. It's not a down and wide. I think was it Van Dijk? I think mm -hmm. it was. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is excruciating. They, we've won a lot of first balls on corners. He was inches corners, away from should have had at least two goals from corners today, mate. At least two goals from corners today. Maybe that's what we need to do. Just get, try and force more of them. That's where we've looked most likely. Jürgen's got one sub left up his sleeve if he wants to use it at some point. Mm. I think I'll be looking for Harvey Elliott on this pitch at me, Yeah. Come on, boys. Come, Come on, on. Let's, gap on the left. let's have it. Come on, Cody. Cody Gapo cut inside, crosses to Not a bad Jota. ball. Two, two man on him, though. No. That's what's going to be the case, isn't it? Well done. Uh, that'll do. Looking that'll do. Back, get up. That'll do. Play that. Play that. Play that. Jones into Jota. Doesn't quite get it under control. Should have went outside. Should have went around yeah. the outside. Get up, lad. Get up, are you? And he's going to get a yellow card as well. Raw. This ref's on some joke thing right now. Grabs his hand and then gets off him. And he clips his own he heel. Gets himself Keith Jones is lucky there. Come on, Liverpool. 20 minutes, plenty of time for them. Palace, rightly, of course, taking the time. Why wouldn't he? This side can do better. There's got to be. We've got to find another gear. Oh, okay, that'll do. Right then, Alison Becker, ball in his hand. I'm getting to the pitch for Liverpool. Oh, that's a good ball. Canate finds Jones, finds Sabozlai. Back to Jones. Back to Sabozlai! Back across his job! Oh, what? I'm Nathaniel done. Klein! I'm done. I'm done out here. These men are taking the fucking piss of my life, bro. What is that? It just looks like Jota's going to score, and Nathaniel Klein just sticks, I don't know, like a leg out or spins on it. It fell to the man we wanted it to fall to. Someone give him the message. Right, corner for Liverpool anyway. Van Dijk wins first oh. contact again. Or straight to oh. the goalkeeper this oh. time. Oh. That just... I just thought it was a goal, did you? 
Red goal written all over it. Nunes buries that by the way, ladies and gentlemen. That's the fucking irony. That's the fuck. I'm not sure he does. <laughs> I think Jota, could he have took it? Could he have been more accurate? I mean, he just slams that goal. He's the man you wanted it to fall to. Palace get up the pitch, don't foul. Oh, why would you foul him? So obvious, he just wanted to be fouled. Oh man, this is hard. Go on, isn't it? It's them's the breaks, them's the breaks. I'm gonna just stay positive for now. Liverpool are gonna win. <laughs> Let's go. Lego. John Van Floyd says goal incoming. You never walk alone, Bosh. It was a poor finish. Nah, I'm done. And we caught Palace, we've got only attack themselves. What a save by Allison! Alison Becker has just pulled off an incredible save to keep it at 1 0 because that was almost curtains for Liverpool. Anderson flicks it down, Mateta from a yard out. That is incredible from Liverpool's goalkeeper. Sticks the arm out. How. Oh, what a save, Idol. Unbelievable. That was nearly curtains, that was nearly Unbelievable. it. Unbelievable. It's up there with Kelleher's in mid the week off his face. Palace corner. They probably need to clear it, they have. Goodness gracious me, Alison Becker. Thank you, goodness for him. Lippel on the counter. Come on, Lippel. Let's get play, it right. Play it, play it, play it's it. Here's to Jones. It's from the cock. Here's to Jones. Miss it. Oh! What are you doing? Liverpool on the break from the corner. Gakpo plays in Jones. He runs through. He does well to hold off the defender and he just knocks it round the post. Curtis Jones puts his shirt over his head. Oh, that could have been out. Anyway, it's gone now. Still 15 minutes to go. Who's that in the background? Volley in his oh, chair. Who else is it going to fucking be? Oh, he did so well to hold the defender off and then just puts it past the post. Salah wants the pass. I don't think the pass was ever on. In the blink of an eye, Liverpool nearly going 2 0 down. Could have been 1 0. Both sides missing huge chances. Palace are about to make a couple of changes of their own three, in fact. Ward's coming on, I think that's Schluck coming on as well. Title races are not good for my mental health. Oh, oh, all my heart. Oh, my heart, mate, because this is just fucking heartbreaking. And Reed of Veld, I think that is as well. Palace making a triple sub with 15 to go. Jürgen still got one sub up his sleeve, if, even when he wants to use it. It feels like Elliot or Graven, bitch. I'd want it to be Elliot. They're taking a long time over this sub, Palace. If the refs hadn't all this up. Hughes off, Klein off. Who's the last one? How long, mate? How long do you want? We know it's Eze. He's right there. He stood there waiting to come off. <sighs> Back on the way, finally, Palace taking all day to make their subs. Liverpool have scored more goals in the last 15 minutes of games than anyone else, and Palace have conceded 
22, which is 19 for Hank. So there's a bit of hope if you've got some. Jones finds Salah does well. Come on, Mo. Fucking hell, Mohamed Salah. What a poor pass. He's running back, though. And then lost it again. Shit. Come on, Liverpool. I can't keep having outbursts when we do shit shit, mate. But this <laughs> is fucking awful. This is hard to watch. Right. Really, really hard to watch right again. now. Come on. Here's Curtis Jones. Out wide to Robertson. Liam Hughes reckons the season's over and a clear out is needed. Thanks for the super chat. <laughs> Got 12 minutes. And then we can start thinking about the future. Mm. Oh, this is making me feel ill. Let's get a song on. Let's just just gears up with some music. I just need something. Little one for Jotter or something, maybe. I don't know. Gapo's cross cleared. That's not a bad cross either, to be fair. win it back with Van Dijk. He's got Trent to his little news and going to Canate instead. Thinks it over for just poor by Canate. Can Jota keep that in? No. no can he fuck? Come on. Lack of quality, that. Crowd's getting anxious, of course. The R's Dean Ensign oh, takes his time over his goal kick. 1 0. 1 0, man. That's all that, it takes. What can, yeah, can, has he got a sub in him? Has someone got a moment of genius in them? 22, really. It needs to be soon, doesn't told it? The first you, one. Yeah, I told you, draw ain't good enough. There's Gakpo. He's made an impact since he come on. Oh, that's how Palace have done well. Battled and worked hard, like scrappy, but they pull have won it back. And again, it's just all scrambling round. It's going to be a Liverpool throw in. Andy Robertson throws to Alexis McAllister. And I always say it draws up and end up killing your fucking season. Crowd are trying to get Liverpool back into it. Come on, boys. <laughs> We're going left again with, Canard, with Van Dijk. Here's Robertson. Plenty of men in the box. If Liverpool do want to cross it, at the moment they don't. I still think I will be crossing it just yet. Trying to find spaces if we can. Into the final Here's 10 minutes. Up. Lost out. Oh, Liverpool got to be careful. Counter attacks on. They haven't quite got. Palace haven't quite worked it uh, right. Been forced backwards. Well, they've done well now down there. They, 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 it's slope, he's going to cross it into the box. He gets it all wrong. And Alan, oh, Alisson and Van Dyke getting each other's way, but thankfully no harm done. Liverpool go long. Salah can Trent get there first. He's tried to play a cross field ball to Gapo. I tell you what, mate, Trent. He hasn't. He's got the ball. I mean, I haven't counted, but he feels like his passing hasn't been on it today. Listen, you can't expect someone to come straight back in and just be amazing from second one, but. And that's where I would have just been asking him to just go back to basics today. Go to back it. to basics today. To play don't, Hollywood ball again. Don't, don't do the whole Hollywood ball shit right now. Just go back to basics. Yeah, it's hard. Ten minutes though. I'd be fucking fuming if I was the kid, you know. Bumba Dog says Arsenal outscored Sheffield United and Crystal and Crystal Ball 17 0. Liverpool are limping. Where's our killer instinct? We have lacked a bit today. You're right. Keep it. It's laughing. It's laughing. Liverpool got nine and minutes. And we've had all five of them. We've had, we've had the whole five and we've had the whole. Yeah. They've all had chances. The whole, the whole compliment has been there to, to get chance, involved. There's a little bit. Salah. It's sad that Elliot's only getting 10 minutes in a game like this when everyone's been toothless. You'll find out who he comes on for in a moment. Salah? Do you think? Surely, yeah. Surely it'll fuck, be Jones. Fuck. Fuck. Yeah, there's Mo Salah. Oh no, he's head to clear. Can Salah get there? Oh, Palace defend well shit again. Out. He's shit out. You didn't want got a corner. This is where we've been our most dangerous. Come on, Liverpool. Can you get one now? Come on. Come on, boys. This is where we have looked the most likely if we're going to do anything to do it. Come on, boys. Just get the ball across Why, the fucking line. We're bringing Harvey Elliott on on a corner. Okay, fair enough. Jones goes off. Elliott on him. Oh, nah, you don't get no high fives, bro. You just sit down on that bench. So, boys, like, <coughs> corner in front of... Come on, Let's do it now. They found Virgil a couple of times. Can they find him again? Corner comes in deep. It does get Van Dyke's head, but it goes up. It's going to be a scramble. There's going to be a scramble. It's scrambling okay. around. Van that's Dyke goes down. That's, that's what? He's given a foul against us. 
Van Dijk's a judge to a foul. Munoz, I think. <sighs> Let's have he a gets look. an elbow to the face. Where's the foul in here? Where's the foul here? Oh, I don't know. But that, that's just your afternoon, isn't it? Keeper jumps over two of his own men. Didn't see it. Well, I couldn't see it. No, really couldn't really see. But either way. Foul game. Unlucky. Do you know what? The lads have been good for the large part of the season. I'm not even going to knock them. It but wasn't how I expected it to go, but I'm not even going to knock them. Fair play. Fair play, Liverpool. This wasn't... Uh, it's, again, un it's all unravelling, this, isn't it? It, all, it unravelled, yeah. Check it, though. This wasn't supposed to be our season. The fact that we had put ourselves in the conversation got us carried away because of the clock news. This was not supposed to be our season. Can they make it their season with Jota? Can he find Salah? It's it's a decent ball, but not a great ball. Salah's got some work to do. He's won it. Can he keep hold of it? He's done well, Salah. Really strong. Done well to keep hold of that, this Salah. They put on, can attack down on the other side. So Bosley goes down. Free kick, surely. Yeah. Here's what it is. Another set play for Liverpool this time. Free kick. I think set plays is where we've most looked most likely. I and mean, it hasn't been brilliant, don't get me wrong. Robertson's going to whip it in. They put send all the big guns forward. 85 minutes on the clock. Ball comes in from Robertson. Header clear by Palace. Elliot to retrieve first touch of the game is to find Trent. Going to whip it back in. Trying to cause a bit of panic, but there was none. Palace. I'll tell you what, he's a good play, that, this kid here. Wharton. He's been very cool, calm. As Ayu gives the ball, well, Liverpool take it off him. No foul given against McCall on McAllister, and Liverpool have got the ball. But oh! So Bosley like tries to play it to, uh, to goalkeeper, nearly give it straight to Mateta, but it did get through. Oh, then I feel so sad. I'm, I'm wounded, mate. I am genuinely wounded. It, it's it's hard to try and find positives out of shit like this, but mm. at the end of the day, it wasn't supposed to be our season. We put ourselves in a fantastic position, and it was about can Liverpool capitalise? Can we beat that team? And it's never really been in our DNA. There's Gakpo trying to do something. He's done well. Gone past a few. Tried to switch it to Elliot. Can he get it under control? Elliot fires it across goal. There's no one really in there though. Palace clear. The oh, cop are trying. The, the... Yeah, James, a positive back in the Champions League. Yeah, absolutely. I'll be harsh with that. No, just, I know, it, is it, is. it is what it is. It, bro, that's football. I'd like, it's, it's we've we've so been here before. That's footy. Lad, all we say as fans is we want to be in a title race. We want to be in there. We want to be amongst it. We want to be competing. Though. I wouldn't <laughs> mind winning it either, but you've got to push. You've got to compete. At the end of the day, yeah. and when it, when, something from somewhere. When the pressure's on, you've got to be the one to want to fucking do it. Gapo crosses. No, he doesn't. He nips inside. Now he crosses. Looking for Elliot. Back post. Not to cross goal. Goal. He saves again. This fucking goalie, lad. The man of the match. He's been the man of the match. He's been in. What the Liverpool fuck is that? Liverpool continue with Alexander Arnold. Cross comes in. Palace clear. It's like slow motion in there. Unbelievable. Mate. Liverpool are knocking and knocking, but they're not breaking that door down. Here we go again. Another wave of attack, hopefully. It's unlucky. Liverpool haven't given up. I know Gapo. Give him the ball. He's been brilliant since he's come on. Genuinely, ge genuinely, yeah, devastated. Yeah. But um, got to keep going. Liverpool have got a few minutes left. Can they find that goal? We need two really, but one for now before they even think about two. Arsenal just don't fucking lose to Villa today. Whatever no. you do, I'll take anyone winning except for City. As much as I can't it's stand awful. Arsenal mm -hmm. either right now. Not even Arsenal so much, it's just the fucking fans, but pff, it is what it is. Damien. Elliot back inside to Trent. Alexander Arnold crosses straight to the head. Again, they'll deal with that all day. I don't think that's the play. It wasn't. Anderson's headed everything away. But I told you now the pressure's off. Now we're out the title race, the pressure's off. Watch these boys start balling out again. 
and it'll be a little bit too little too late to find that groove again but it'll happen yeah, so there'll be like, a response what he's going to do he's going to back post who's he find there he's find Alexander Arnold can try and find the cross fired across goal cleared by Palace and he's cleared again no all the way to the halfway line where Allison's come to collect it so Bosley like down to Trent again another cross deep this time really deep Gapo gets there Jota Liverpool have got the ball Gapo and down Liverpool are playing on oh, this is all fucking brilliant. here's Gapo across his corner come on So that's just days like these, I miss Bobby and Sadio. You really need to invest in a goal scorer, I'd get Tony, says. And the Klopp here is starting as his ends. Messi said, Richard, oh, this is a grim man. As Liverpool's corner comes in, Palace clear. Liverpool recycle it again. We're going to have another chance to cross it with Robertson. Plays it down the line to Elliot, but he over two over it. It's, it. it's just not going place. our way, is it? It wasn't to be, it wasn't to be, it wasn't to be. 26 years to go to the next one. Oh, come on. This can't be this. I've made my peace with it, bro. It was quite cathartic in, in, at times. Some of, do you, when you see some of the chances of that four or five yards out and we can't fucking... Yeah. Well, I'd give it a rig, he says, Gerdy, but... No. This is just a little painful man. Palace going into injury time, make their last sub. Right, the ball's back with Alison Becker. It feels a lot like that, doesn't it? Like Arsenal last year, we just ran out of steam. That's what Liverpool feel like now. It's too awful. Seven minutes, though, to go. That just makes it even more excruciating. Can't Liverpool... Seven minutes, man. It's just... Liverpool got seven minutes to save the title challenge, really. They go Liverpool down the right with Harvey Elliott. Crosses clear by Palace. Can Liverpool win it back? They can to McAllister. To Sir Bosley. Capo crosses. Can Jota test it down? Salah! How's that not going in? I don't even react anymore, lad. You just know it's not what going to go What happened there? I don't know. They cleared off the line. Oh, it's Mitchell. Just it's Comes out of nowhere. Inside of his leg. Corner for Liverpool anyway, in it comes. Van Dijk gets first contact this time, but Palace can clear only as far as Trent's back. Stop that, eh? And Palace get hit all the way down the pitch, just straight to Allison. Throw into Liverpool. They've had 21 shots, man. No no goal. Similar story as the uh, to the end of the uh, last game as well. The last few games, really, for Liverpool. Some of it's been good defending. How many would you say are bad misses? It's, it's a combination of it all, really, isn't it? Harvey Elliott's cross is blocked and Palace can clear again. And not only can they clear, they can get the ball out of Deo as well. They probably need to take it off him. Don't foul him. No one foul him. Van Dijk wins it. Nice. McAllister looking for Salah on the chip. Mo Salah chests it down. Battling around. Goes down. Carries on with Jota. Oh, I just ran out of room. Just jumped on the floor, him. Throw into Liverpool. So Bosley. Out wide to Canate. What oh, a poor ball. Salah did well to get that. That was a. Ooh. 
Liverpool, come on! Alex, Alex McArthur will whack to the ribs there, but Liverpool are going to play on with Gakpo. Someone's asking us, do we deserve a draw? We definitely deserve a draw. Gakpo crosses. It's going to fall to Salah. He took it off Elliot really, didn't he? Here's Trent. Thinks back in. Clears again. I don't think the crossing's the way, lads. I don't think it is. Corners, they've been rubbish from defending Palace, but they have not been good defending... Um, they've been pretty, uh, pretty good defending normal crosses into the box. Mm. They pull up bereft of ideas here. Come on! Man, like staying up there now. That's where we're at in the season. Here's Alexander Arnold from distance. Plays it to Elliot. Good ball as well. Dinked into the box. Can Liverpool make something of this? Could be a corner, isn't it? Goal kick, what? That's a corner, man. Not given at all. Unlucky. How do you I'm devastated. I'm, I'm wounded, mate. I'm fucking devil. But what, what can you do? You moan, you're too negative. You fucking call it how it is. You're too negative. So, I'm going to say less, innit? Like, I didn't predict this. So I predicted a 2-1. Nervy win, because I expected us. Wow. They've defended so well. Yeah. I expected us to score goals today. For you lot, that was chatting all 4 nils. Yeah, I just all, all, all these goals. I don't know where you four goals were coming from. Yeah, you're right. But... No, you're right, mate. Yeah, you're right. Uh, I hate I hate being that guy. Obviously, it's, it's no, nice I to be positive. It, obviously, you want to be positive, but now you just got to call it how you see it. And at the minute, it feels like just, I, I believe it's a bit of blow because ultimately, at one point, it was in our hands, mm. and Liverpool just had to find the extra gear. And I believed, and listen, it's not over, over, but it feels over. It feels like we ran out of legs. It feels like Arsenal, the exact same as Arsenal last year. They just they just ran yeah. out, ran out of steam. And that's what feels like it's happened here. Can Liverpool get a, a, get a point and just see how, if that's it? It probably isn't, but can they just get one anyway for now? As Robertson goes long, Elliot wins his header. Salah battles and does okay and wins it. Here's Elliot. For what it's worth, I don't think there's been that, there's, there's been any of your messing performances either, though. Like, I don't think the, the team have played that bad. They've just not done enough. What's required, and again, another team wanting it more when it comes to they defend the defense. But, 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 bro, I said to you in the build up show the two areas of the pitch with the opposition team need to be on job and need to be ultra focused is in their final day, they need to be clinical and they need to defend for their lives. If they get that job right, they feel like they can get a result against this Liverpool team and at the goal moment. Play well. and they're, and, mm. but, they, but they've done it, in, 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 I, you know, you can say, Oh, well, you know, it's only the midfield, then yeah. At the end of the day, we'll have all that control, but what, what, what good is it? What would you rather do? Have all that control in midfield and be a um, ball out midfield-wise or be clinical up front and be able to keep it, shut the door in, uh, at the back? I know what I'd rather have right now when it, when it matters at this stage of the season. Yeah. Anderson's getting man of the match. The goalkeeper could have easily had man of the match. Like, the ball's right these there. are just lions here. The ball's where Crystal Palace won it. It's in front of their fans with a minute to go in yeah, Liverpool. Palace's well, fans are having a time of their lives, and this is hard. I'm gutted, man. How the fuck Palace coming to Anfield and winning? What the fuck's that about? I don't know. And then they just keep it by the corner flag. Like, they're, they're absolutely they're mocking us. And you know what? Rather this, because I've sat here on the last day of the season and hope that something's going to happen and go in our favour, and it's not, so fuck it. Rather it now. They've got a minute. To, I mean, they're not going to win the game, obviously. Couldn't they rescue a point and just see if that means anything at any point? Who's, who's getting booked, yeah? yeah uh, I'm not sure what happens. Is he a foul somewhere? It's going to be a free kick to Liverpool. I'm not sure what happened there. Liverpool got a free kick. In the middle, inside the Palace half, I can only presume there was a, 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 a pullback or something. Screaming West Brom vibes. Alison Becker's going up. Screaming West Brom vibes. Free kick. Trent whips it in. Van Dijk nods it across. And Palace ju just about do enough. And that'll be that. And Liverpool are going to lose this game. Van Dijk puts his hands on his head. Can't quite believe it. There you go. It's full time. Liverpool have lost. And that is a kick in the nuts. It probably means the title's gone.
almost certainly does. The players' heads in hands, they can't quite believe it. Palace are ecstatic and we're anything but. That's a kick on the balls, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Right, guys, thanks everyone for watching or joining in with the stream. I really appreciate everyone getting involved. But yeah, the pool, that's it's they, just that's it. That's done. Credit to Crystal Palace. It wasn't enough for Liverpool and it's not gone our way again. And devastated is not the word. Right, yeah, I'm going to end the stream there because I've had enough of this. Right, I'll see you all later. See you in a bit.